<laughs> oh yeah, I should actually check the stream. Let me uh, do that. You should do that. I mean, for the most part, I haven't changed anything, so it should be just as fine as it was before. But it, it's, you know, it's, it's still the, the you know we got to go through the ritual. The, the ritual. Yeah, <laughs> we love the ritual. Hi, everybody. The ritual. We're not playing Henshin today because uh, the GM is tired. We're doing a one shot, and I've voluntold Alice to run it. We're playing Hardwired Island. It's a uh, cyberpunk system that was designed by uh, Eaton and uh, some other people. It's really good. There's a free version out on Itch.io and Drive-Thru RPG that you can pick up if you want to play it yourself. We're going to be cyberpunks doing cyberpunk shit. Yeah. The Kickstarter oh, talk so that. will come out. Yeah, the Kickstarter is funded. I am a Kickstarter backer, so I get emails from them from time to time. So, before we start, I thought you might be interested in knowing why it's called Hard Hardwired Island. <laughs> Go on. In the seventies, a guy named um, Gerard K. Gerard K. O'Neill mm -hmm. made a book called *The High Frontier: Human Colonies in Space*, which is very important for this session because, while teaching a class, he and his students came up with three kind of basic sort of designs, which they called islands. Island one and island two are kind of dumb. Island three. The third island. The third the island, island which we call O'Neill Cylinders. We tinkered with in the real world for about basically until now. Mm -hmm. In our setting, they were doing the same until Second Impact, which did lots of bad things to the Earth when a meteor hit Antarctica or the Arctic. Yeah, that's so, what caused Evangelion to happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they had a lot more incentive to actually work on it than we did. Um, and it went fine for a while until about a few years ago when the corporate, the megacorps, which had kind of risen in the out aftermath of the whole world falling apart, started getting their dirty paws on space. A year ago, another colony at the L4, at the L4 Lagrange point, not that, I mean, in, in the scheme of things, not that far from you guys. Um, just fell apart. It just came apart at the seams, and lots of people died. But one score, is that the one that's between us and the moon? Or, like, mm -hmm. further out from the Earth, or one close to the sun? Um, I'm not sure. Actually, the L4 and L5 are both the ones that are the most um, stable. I gotta look them up. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but it just fell apart. I believe it's apart. L7 and L5, but yeah, L4 just, like, fell apart. Yep. And no, it's um, only five. You, it's the one that trails the Earth. Yeah, that's it. And then Mega Man X and Zero had to destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, um, it's the one that's ahead of the Earth. Five trails the Earth. Yes. I figured it out. So, Green Cross, the station you live on, is at L5, and those refugees were brought here. Um, that's the closest that, one. That was almost a year ago, and... Since then, it's come out that the reason that L the L4 station just up and died after no reason was actually because the Megacorp, who had been given the contract to build its um, frame, cut every corner they could. This has not gone over well, especially as that Megacorp has ties to the current um, little alliance of corporate powers that has gotten control of your station. Oh no, they built this one too, we're doomed! They built <laughs> part of it, yeah. You know what, everyone is trying to figure out exactly how much of it they built, and it is murky, which is honestly not very comforting. Um, the station's divided into districts, and you happen to live in a, di a little district called Elysian Heights. Nice. Um, Elysian Heights is a purely, um, it's a purely residential place. Not a lot of businesses besides, like, sort of, like, bodegas and smaller offices. It's very low-key, which has been very good, because it's avoided a lot of the gentrification that comes with corporate interest. Mm -hmm. It's less good because it also means that on the totem pole of who gets what, you're very near the bottom. That's not usually a problem. 
until today, when somewhere around simulated 10 a 10 a.m. Um, most of the electricity in your district goes out. Almost all at once. Oh no, my livelihood. Mm. Can't Some post, so there's no work. power. There's oh emergency. no, we can't charge of this character. <laughs> there's emergency power. There are some emergency lights for specific, like, it, like, you know, emergencies, crisis moments, but a lot of things don't work, like communications. People try call, people try using the built-in communications uh, systems that are supposed to work on piggyback off the station. None of them work. You tried turning on the news. You can't get a signal. You tried calling. You can't get a signal. Nothing works. Your district is now effectively an island by itself in space, in the dark. Oh, dear. Huh. I think <laughs> we should just go... Well, we don't... Well, okay, how do we all get together? What's happening? How does it start? So, I mean, every time... Even with the power out... My 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 character's bar is still open. They they kind of they they act as a bouncer at a bar. He does. I was, so, okay. I'm about to ask. Um, do you do any? Do y'all still go to work when it becomes very clear that everything is shut down? My character was still working when everything went down. <laughs> so he's still standing there, rubbing the bar. <laughs> You know, just like, well, and there's, you know, the, the regulars, like the drunkards and whatever, are like, mm. <laughs> a couple people have gotten mad that the, the old jukebox that my character rigged together isn't working anymore because it doesn't work without power. Sorry. Uh, my job is a posting war on the battleground of the internet, so I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted my character to, like, have a, a small construction firm. So you can't be they're Goro. Going to... You cannot be Goro Majima. Sorry, no, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even you thinking of that. Um, so, uh, because they're a small business owner, they're insane, so they're going to go to work anyways. <laughs> okay, so as you go to work anyways, even though, like, things have... I'm just, of... like, carrying three planks of wood on my shoulder for some reason. As you're doing this, as you're kind of just, like, determined, like, you don't want to deal with this bullshit today, you're just going to go keep going, um, you hear someone, um, you, you hear loud voices in the street. Um, you've seen people wandering around since this morning when the power died. Um, you've probably been ignoring it, but this is different. Um, it's someone on a bicycle that looks really old and <laughs> practically barely working, who is yelling just like Paul Revere style, um, that they are, that there's, the, yeah, sorry, that the district, um, the district mayor has called an emergency meeting. Let's go yell at the mayor. <laughs> yeah, it's emergency meeting at, um, the district. Well, I just, show up to yell at the mayor. What? That's why. I guess. Yes. I guess. Fefner, are you hall. are you okay with your 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 robot, your android, your whatever you are, hanging out with my character, and we just kind of go there together? I don't know what your I mean, what your character would do at my character's bar, but yeah, your android. <laughs> they're sorry. An AI. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're on all of our phones. Yeah. Okay. Not all. Yeah. So each of you at some point will see someone like this, um, who's kind of basically somebody paid them a couple bucks to ride through town on a bicycle yelling at everyone that that there has been some kind of emer like state of emergency in place and um, the mayor is asking everyone or at least a representative from each household somebody to show up at town hall that afternoon at 2. Okay. Um, at the same I'm not time, putting my planks of wood back. I'm taking them to the meeting. <laughs> oh god, you're good. It's like Long Lady from Twisted Peaks in the background. <laughs> um, Jenner, someone comes. The owner is at your bar today. Yeah, my boss um, is he's usually here. Yeah. Super fucking pissed. Of course like, he is. This is not what he wants. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing works. 
Yeah, just, just, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, at some point during the day, um, someone that you do not recognize comes in, and they seem to know each other, and he invites him basically into the back office. Great. I, I, as as he and I are arguing, I, I do inform him that the alcohol still flows, so, you know, we're fine, and then he can wander off and go... I'm going to try and listen into the door, of course. I'm going to grab... I'm going to do the cup thing, you know, where you pull the cup to your ear and put the cup against the door and try and listen into the door. I'm gonna actually going to make you... going to hobble over the there to do that? Roll. Yeah. I'm going to actually make you do the first roll. So what kind of um, roll would here. that be? Um... That's actually gonna. I'm actually gonna make you roll a stealth here. Okay, stealth. All right. So that is a two d six plus. Uh, looks like cool. It's a cool thing to do to yeah. spy yeah, your boss. Okay, so it's a two d six plus two. I don't have any specialties in being stealthy. And if anything, I'm not the best at being stealthy. Even though, well, it's not bad. A six <laughs> could be worse. Got all twos. Nothing but twos. Probably not a terrible uh, <laughs> challenge, though. Yeah, we'll find out. Oh, can I? I could. Can I add a plus one and have a seven because of the cup? Because I'm using a tool. Uh, you know, yeah. Okay, I thank mean, you. As long as you. I was making sure you just did. Okay, so oh. you didn't watch it. So um, you hear some things, um, and you're pretty good about it. I'm pretty discreet about it. Um, the voice you recognize, you assume is. Who's walked in? Is talking really animatedly about um, accelerationists. Oh no! Um, and you don't really know what about them. Um, but I'm just gonna see if there's any kind of lore thing here. Mm-hmm. How long have you been on this station? Uh, let's see. Uh, the station, how old is the station? The station's about, uh, ten years old. Okay, so I've been on the station well, about, yeah, about seven years. Okay, but you probably know about what these guys are. Accelerationists are the worst kind of te uh, transhumanists. Mm -hmm. Um, the ones that are, like, simultaneously being really excited about being corporate students while also being really disdainful of um, basically anyone who isn't willing to chrome themselves up to the gills. Yeah. Um, so they don't have a great reputation, but they're usually just like, you know, they're dicks, but it's not like they're, you know, dangerous or anything. So mm -hmm. it's not like a big, you know, it's, it's weird that he'd be really animated about them now in the middle of a minor community crisis. Mm -hmm. Um. He seems really concerned with um, the the district next door to yours, um, which is called Rubio. Which is called Rubio. Okay. And the Rubio district is a corporate is a very much a corporate district, and he seems to think that he needs to go there. Hmm. That's about all you're able to get. Okay. I'm gonna um, slip away from the door. And um, before I can get caught and, like, hobble back over to my spot to look imposing, you know, like I'm supposed to. Uh, nobody's really starting shit here, but <laughs> that's interesting. Um, hmm. I mean, hmm. My, my shift isn't over. I can't just go, but it's definitely something to, cons like, to think about. This is about the time when um, the messenger will come by the bar bust up in there. It's like a 16-year-old kid. He's not <laughs> supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. You yell at everybody that um, maybe was called a town meeting um, at, at, two, eight, at 2 in the afternoon, and then just like bails before you can kick him out. Um, so, the rest of the morning and up to until noon is kind of a blur. People mm -hmm. are agitated, but they're, it's, it's an, a pretty chill community, so people aren't like, you know, that ag agitated. Things are not hostile yet. They're mostly somewhere between cool and indifferent. Um, until a little afternoon when people start gathering in for that big meeting in 
the district hall, which is not actually big enough, so it's standing room only. Do you all go? Well, I mean, my shift ends a little after 12, so I can technically make it, so y'all head over there. Um, I'm not going to bother to put on a shirt still, though. <laughs> yeah, I better go. <laughs> I, like, fashion a platform above the crowd so I can sit comfortably with my planks of wood that I brought. Excellent. It's this little, like, little thing that you can, like, be tossed. <laughs> that's, that's how the Zen aliens work, you know, the rules. Mm -hmm. So I can clearly see the stage, and I'm not taking up any extra space on the ground floor. It's fine. <laughs> so, when you arrive, the mood of the crowd, like, the, you, you've been used to people just making jokes about it and kind of shrugging it off. The mood of people when they arrive at 2 is not very friendly. Mm -hmm. um, it's more like, okay, this should have been fixed by now. And from living here, you know that it should have been fixed by now. This is the longest that you've ever had a power outage, outage in basically this period. Mm -hmm. um, the mayor starts speaking, and after, like, have you ever heard someone who's a public official has nothing to say and turns it into a ten minute long talk? Yeah, I've listened to Pete Booty Judge. Yeah, you could straight up just tell that's what's happening about a minute in. The mayor, the mayor tells you that he has no idea, basically that they don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and part of why they don't know is because a safety, uh, safety systems that were designed to keep um, any kind of, like, breach, like, hole breach or any kind of major disaster confined within a single district have all activated in all mm -hmm. directions. Mm -hmm. Your district cannot, no one can leave. So it's literally it's, sealed? Like, it's, phys physically? You're not locked in here with us? <laughs> wait, wait, no. You, I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with us. Or something, yeah. I forget how the quote goes, sorry. I don't know how y'all are going to take that character-wise, but the crowd around you does not take that Oh, I, I think I freaked out immediately. <laughs> Whatever the crowd yeah. is doing, I My also post. know that. <laughs> what was it? I said, whatever the crowd does, I do. If they're freaking out, I'm freaking out harder. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the crowd is really upset. Like, people were kind of, like, going to be glazed eyes, but, like, now they're mad. People are like, yelling out questions about him, like, you know, how long is this going to last? Haven't you been able to talk to anybody? Can't you, like, call the, can't you call the, like, the station council? Over, over like, all kinds of questions, and he doesn't answer anything. He can't. If I don't post it four hours, I lose clout. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what do you what do you see your character doing, Loka? Uh, I fall off my platform. Oh no! <laughs> the the storming, and the, not weather storm, but the people storming and making a ruckus has shook the walls of the building and it knocks me off my platform. <laughs> um, but like as for what he's planning to do, I think he would. Right now, he's planning <laughs> to just go home and wait this out. <laughs> So Look, I've been ask, doomsday prepping for a while. I'll just go get my cans of brown meat and I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I have a question, Loka. Oh no. So your character owns a your character owns a construction business, right? Yes. Are they dressed like they own a business? <laughs> well, they are go they were going to like do physical labor, so they're wearing like Okay. Um, a shirt that they don't care. He doesn't care if it gets dirty or not. Okay, never mind that. So no, he's not wearing a suit or anything. So like jeans and like a shitty polo. Like most <laughs> yeah. construction workers. No, not even a polo. Just a just shitty like a t-shirt. Is yeah. a is a graphic tee. <laughs> no, so like only true proletarians wear the graphic tees. Is is it like just like your crappy company branding on a t-shirt. Yeah, it has the logo for the company on it, but there's no indication that I own this company. As far as anyone knows, I work for this company. As as you were kind of dusting yourself off and, like, determining that, you know, you're, you're done with this, you're just gonna, like, there's not much to be gained here. Um, 
someone in the crowd starts pushing their way forward to the stage. And they are being really, really insistent. Eventually knocking over someone right in front of you. Um, that guy gets up, rears back, throws a punch that misses. Oh! And like he overbalances into another person. And as you can imagine, this starts into a huge, just like everyone pushing everyone. Oh no. It's a mosh. Oh, as we turn into a sort of like turning mob. You are in the middle of that right now. Uh, uh, no. Is this a situation we should roll initiative? Well, we can we can do initiative uh, several ways. Just so you know, we can kind of talk about what each of us does, or we can we can do solid state initiative, where in this version players act as a group and the GM describes the scene and what side characters do, and the players decide amongst themselves what order they go in, and then the next round begins, and this is easier. Or we can do a complex initiative where we roll. I like the solid state initiative. I think we can kind of like lay out what each of our characters do. Yeah, since there's no like specific target amongst all y'all, uh, I think that makes sense, even though you're not a group yet. Yeah. So um, I'm. I will decide who goes in what order, but during this squabble. Um, my character is going to seek out the other uh, brothers from the Masjid who probably showed up here and get them together so we can start doing um, mutual aid stuff because my character's background is that they are an activist. Uh, he's an activist, so he's going to seek out his brothers from the Masjid and start getting, start, you know, doing anarchist shit to to keep people... Well, I mean, we're still we're in the middle of a, of, a, of a riot right now. Yeah, so like... but his goal is to get with his... his <laughs> his own and protect them you know y'all right. can punch each other but he's going over to his brothers uh, all right can find i'm sorry them up. i'm back can you hear me yeah yes yeah okay i just got back you sound better actually yeah you sound much yeah i'm better. on my phone now Yay. i'm on my phone now I was yeah. like, I'm wow done what's about this podcast equipment if, this, if it doesn't work <laughs> what's going on <laughs> yeah I, I i also i really apologize i'm really sorry no um, okay. So just, again, my character's going to be waiting uh, through the crowd, uh, you know, beating away punches to gather up um, his his comrades uh, from the Masjid uh, and protect and, and basically create, a, a, you know, a front to, you know, with yeah. Yeah, keep them from getting You're hurt. just automatically acting because it's a you know, crowd control situation. Yeah. Let, me, let me do a little bit more, like, so you see what this looks like. Right now, Loka's character is the only one directly in... It is expanding outwards. Mm -hmm. Like this is this is a situation that is rapidly spiraling out of control. Mm -hmm. Um. Just so you know, um, it dropped you off. Oh the my phone god! And put you back. It. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. So th this is a situation that is rapidly spiraling out of control. Right now, Luke is the only one in physical proximity, but apparently Jenner's character is about to get there, too. Yeah. I need to get y'all's names after this, <laughs> yeah. also. Yeah, actually, but, hey, we could do this as a neat opening where we describe our characters yeah. as they do their actions, except yeah, actually, I'm technically not here. <laughs> yeah, actually, I might have y'all do that. So, there is the, the man who threw the, the man, the guy who was pushing through the crowd is still pushing through the crowd mm -hmm. towards stage. He has not stopped to fight anybody. He has not done anything um, whether or not you could, Loka could still see him, whether or not you guys will be able to see him will be probably, um, a role as you get involved in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So acting as a group going in, whatever kind of order you guys decide here, what are you doing as this situation turns into just mass chaos? We've got Jenner is pushing through the crowd. Yeah, trying to get, uh, like, protect I his own. I want to try and get out. Mm. <laughs> I am pushing away from the nonsense. So you're trying to basically shove your way to out of, out of the bubble. Yeah, get to a door or window. I'm fairly desperate at this point. Let's see I've, what that I've already be. lost by three wooden plaques. <laughs> They'll be remembered. They'll go down in the annals of history like the trebuchet from the fifth ed campaign. <laughs> so, 
when you say that you are using, um, would you say that you are trying to like worm your way through, or that you're just trying? Are you really pushing? He's got two big planks of wood. No, he lost those. He just said that. Oh, oh no! <laughs> They've been yeah, destroyed. I'm trying to just push my way out. Okay, I'm gonna treat that as it's not really an attack roll. It's an attack roll here. Um, roll me two d six plus tough. And I will have to roll in opposition of that. Get a pick quick or tough. What of your choice? Really yeah, if you want to either quick or tough, depending on how the, the approach you're taking. Very tough. Yeah. Oh, nice. There nice. we go. Very strong. Let's see. 2d6. Uh, right, posing roll. They have a sixth. What did you get? Um, uh, I got 14. Yeah. Dang, okay. Where are you rolling? Um, I rolled on my phone because I was disconnected. <laughs> am, I, oh, am, okay. I am I back in? It does show you back in. Yeah. Okay, then I'll switch over. Um, we'll, all right. We'll that's still count like, that roll, though. It's fine. Yeah, that's way more than enough. Yep. So you're able to get out of the initial melee to towards the edge of the crowd and then eventually sort of like breaking free to where you're like <laughs> towards the door um you are in safety who else is in this crowd i am because i was yelling at the mayor <laughs> how are you doing the violence is spreading to you oh terrible uh i am uh i am cool ranch i'm an abject coward so i am going to uh run away by climbing a lamppost <laughs> Okay, just see if that would would that be a roll thing? Uh, it says uh, I roll quick versus seven plus the number of opponents. Which there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm not how many, sure. How many are they, actively menacing me? I guess probably only like three people, and the okay. like the rest of them are too busy like pushing each other and yelling at each other. Okay, so this is two. Plus, um, two plus one. Oh, I didn't pick that roll. Uh, there's a space in it. Ugh. Nine. Ugh. <laughs> I get jostled. Okay, wh where did you see that move, by the way? Uh, it is on page um twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. Ah, I gotta roll through it. <laughs> Because I was just, I was just looking for that. Um, so they get a free attack against me, I guess. Where did what what action was it? I was doing run away. Okay. To the VS. Okay, they fail. They get attack against you. And all right, so that is going to happen. Actually, somebody's going to see you scampering off and assume that you're the one who pushed them from behind. I'm like halfway up a lamppost. Like my legs and arms are wrapped around trying to trying to scramble up it. Okay, they're gonna use two D six plus I think probably tough. Uh, I will pose a quick Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Rest oh, oh no. god. Oh no. Perish. Goodbye. Oh four. Whoops. Rest in peace. Well, that's I couldn't have rolled worse. That's that's cool. It's a good thing. There's no crit fail rules. <laughs> nice knowing you, Cool Ranch. How much harm does that take? I don't even know how harm works. I don't. It wasn't even told me to write that down. Uh, what yeah. does that mean? Uh, that is on page twenty-seven. Yeah, so, I'm looking at this uh, right now. Ooh. So, mm, ouch. it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> oh no. Harm. So when you take be... damage, you mark one of these boxes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're on one minor injury, no effect. Okay. Yeah. okay. Everyone, calm down. <laughs> I thought this was like fate, and you just. So got, I, like, think, I think I think what happens is I'm looking at this thing right now. It says your if tech rolls to be your defense by three or more, but I feel oh, like that should. I feel like that should only 
count with you know like laser guns or revolves not with those pushing you so yeah no, i i I, also, I think fences like um your stat plus seven so oh like okay. stat you use plus seven. Oh, oh yeah yeah you're right okay did you not hey okay. baby we <laughs> baby we should no I, I did that roll thing. was was a roll pose hold on let me see no defense doesn't need a roll i forgot about that that is right yeah oh okay so this oh, is so probably attacking. a quick defense so yes. it'll be... so, so that'd be four I'd, so nine so it's still four above Okay, so that would still be so it's still by four. Um, yeah, so you would take that's two. That's you fine. would take two, so that's no effect. So you're still good. Yeah. So, so like, so, I, I think what happens is is I'm I'm halfway up this this light pole, and someone just like grabs me like by the belt and just like pulls me off of it and I fall like six feet <laughs> on my back, and then someone <laughs> steps on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you take like too not on purpose? I just get trampled because like people shuffling around. So look out! Uh, you on the floor. Jenner is moving through the crowd. Is there anyone else in this in this melee? Because one of you is not here. Yep. Be doing anything? <laughs> yeah. What is your character control? doing right now, Fafner? I mean, they're a computer program, so you know, there's you'll see them when they're. Uploaded to you. Fefter has made the most passive character. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I can. I can think I can work with that in a bit. Yeah. In the meantime, we're gonna go through this whole session without seeing Fefter's <laughs> character once. <laughs> oh my god. Jenner. Yeah. Your what's your character's name? His name is Salim. All right. Salim he's, has he's managed a, to get a, him. He's a small boy. He's only five foot six, and he, but he's got muscle. He's very, very wiry. He's managed to muscle his way into the crowd, and there are enough people from, like, who happen to be in the neighborhoods around that bar who recognize him, mm -hmm. who have decided that it would be better if they left. Yeah. Because if you are waiting in, this is going to be unfortunate for mm -hmm. someone, and it would rather not be them. Mm -hmm. So, like, your presence has actually helped calm some people down and made them leave. Um, but as you were, like, yelling and, you know kind of like trying to deal with the situation you see somebody get yanked off of a of a pillar and like like really really roughly and sort of like looks like they're getting sort of stepped on oh dear like right that next might to be you. their kink and i don't want to kink shame them but <laughs> it's not it hurts real bad <laughs> it doesn't seem to be um, they're not, they, they don't look like they're into it been stepped on. okay no. um so, I have a question before I, I decide my next action, which is, has Salim gotten, like, gotten in with his, his, his brothers, his mushy brothers here? Has he managed to hook up with a couple of them? All yeah, he needs, you, all you, he needs... you managed to find people you know. Okay, so now it's time to get, get order and get everything under control now that he's got his, a couple of his crew together. So yeah, now he and um, I'm gonna say like the, maybe three other people. So the four of them are gonna wade in, uh, yelling and like just basically grabbing anybody they can and just pushing them away and start going towards the the person who fell because that's not good for them. And um, so are you doing? Are, are you doing this by physically like roughly like forcing your way? Or are you trying to intimidate people out of the way, like yell at them to get move? This is going to be an uh, an intimidation thing that uh, Salim is doing with his brothers. Um, just basically, you know, getting telling people to get out of the way. Basically, barking orders. It's what Salim is used to. Yeah. All right. Looks like there is a thread in here. That's two d six plus clever or cool. Yep, two d six plus cool is what I'm going to go with. I think. Let me make Usually, sure. Either or, really. Usually... That's the same. Yeah. This is usually more of a single target, but in this case, I'm because there's like several of you. I'm gonna let is, you just is go it, ahead. May I add a plus one from my military background because I'm barking orders like yeah. I'm a soldier? Oh yeah, absolutely. So I'll do that plus three. Uh, and I suck. <laughs> no, nine is pretty good. That's not bad. That's uh, that's mm -hmm. a, uh, that's like solid average. Yeah, he might he might be he's small, but he fierce. He's he he he's small, but he protect. <laughs> so nine. Versus cool single target. Yeah. And that, that's not a roll that I make. It is not a contest. Is it a contested roll or? It's, uh, I believe it is versus. Uh, 
it's. I think they all. If anything, versus is a is a. It might be. It yeah, might be that's contested. what I assumed. It, yeah, it's sorry. We're still learning the system, folks. <laughs> Ooh, okay, nine on nine. So on a tie. I'm not exactly sure what happens on a tie. Let me see. All right. Let's see. A risk. Committing self. Game structure initiative. It doesn't actually say. I'll have to ask. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Um, What's the rule? Well, there's a rule for when initiative ties. Um, the GM decides. Okay, so you okay. decide. Um... I think that they're. I I think that they don't back off. I think the fact that you were ordering that you were yelling at them makes them decide that you must be the person who was starting all of this in the first place. <laughs> who is, by the way, by this point completely gone, and none of you know where they are. Mm -hmm. um, they have gotten themselves fully lost in the crowd. So I think actually that one of these guys is going to yell back at you um, about what the hell, like what the hell do you think you're doing? And it, they're actually going to try to force you back, push you back. Yeah, no, that's, so, that's not going to happen. I mean, they, well, you get to roll just, against like, my bring defenses. You down. Yeah, you get to roll against my defenses. So I guess this is going to be a tough defense. My tough defense is 10, I believe, to get a roll versus my 10 defense. Oh, you matched it. Again, you get to decide Dang. how this goes. No, I don't think that this is going to work because um, there's, like, uh, several of... There, it's It's... Salim is has backup, but this dude does not. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he has backup, but they're not a organized backup. It's chaos. Yeah, backup. they're not organized backup. I think he, I think he like tries to push you out of the way and like you know get you to go down, and you just don't like don't even move. Yeah. And as this has obviously not worked, he backs back up into the crowd, all incredibly awkward and angry, mm -hmm. and he's you know it, 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 his happier parts of his life, you know, he probably would have had like a wall to punch or something, but. <laughs> He doesn't have anything like that right now. So someone next to him yanks him away and, and like, starts calling him an idiot for, like, what the hell are you doing? Do you know who that is? <laughs> Slim does have a bit of a reputation in this in this sector. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna get over to the fallen person with my comrades and get this loser up. Um, yeah. All right. As you are pulling this person up, um, Loco, no, no, Loco, whose character was on the ground? Sorry, it was Cool Me. Ranch, Jeff's. Cool yeah. Ranch. <laughs> cool Ranch. <laughs> um, someone has someone has arrived to save you from the crowd. Um, as they pull you up, you hear something somewhere behind you, and from the direction of the stage where the mayor is still trying to yell people back into order mm -hmm. that sounds suspiciously like um what you imagine gunfire would sound like yeah great um there is like it goes from incredibly loud to not like just absolute silence very quickly yeah i think everyone just turns and looks like mm -hmm. ducks down a little bit mm -hmm. On the stage, the man who originally was there when Loco was was in the middle of the initial like melee is on stage now. He has shorn his heavy duty coat, and on it has a um, and it, like underneath it is obvious he has like really intense like military grade armor. It's also really evident that a lot of his body is is no longer flesh. He's very chromed up. Like, even even his eyes have been replaced with, um, like, really high-duty, du probably illegal augmentation. I, I ducked behind Jenner's character, which is I probably tall and thin, so I had, like, ducked uh, down. He's, he, I said he's 5'6". He's small. Yeah, no, I'm taller than he is, so I'm a <laughs> you duck, behind you. Duck you behind him. <laughs> he's a small boy. Save me. <laughs> so... He's actually has a hand up in the air. Look, mayor is like cow. He has the like the mayor by the like the back of his um his collar. It's like cowering, and his other hand is up in the air. Smoke rising from it. If you look, like it seems like as as if he's literally like shooting something from his actual like wrist. He's got a handgun. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> yes, he has that haircut. Um, he's got something in there. Um, it is it is smoke, some smoke coming off, some kind of ballistic. But, but in the silence, he starts like waving that thing across the crowd. He doesn't fire anything. He just kind of like sort of the universal signal of move, and it'll you'll be next. <laughs> I don't do All anything. Right. I'm glad I have your attention. This whole district, all of you, all of you rabble, pathetic little insects. There's a new boss in town. Nobody's coming for you because nobody cares. You move, I shoot you. I have rockets. I can get a lot of you. You make anything difficult for me or anybody who does things because I tell them to do them, bad things are going to happen. We we cool? We understand? He seems a little unhinged, if you can't tell. Like, it's he's just, got the wild is eyes. Is it just him? <laughs> it is just him. <laughs> he, he says is, he has but he's like the He's like the he Doom guy. Yes. Like, <laughs> this is a, he, is a, he is a weird, like, wiry, literally and figuratively cyborg who claims to have rockets of some kind, who has at least at some point shot a gun. On the stage. He might have cyborg augmentation rockets. He might be like Iron Man with like little baby mini rockets. Sucks. Hmm. Hey y'all, is that good? Is that good? He's like just like like he he's he's almost like tweaking. Like <laughs> y'all good? Y'all get that? Alright. Yes, sir. Who talked? <laughs> Who was that? Who's uh, dying today? Uh, no, I was I was acknowledging that your power, sir. <laughs> With his with his with his hand uh, uh, pointed up again, he a actually does he does have a gun because it is it is in fact attached to his wrist, and he let it is like a machine gun. He lets off of, like a whole bunch of rounds right yeah, up into I, the I ceiling. I drop to the ground. A bunch of other people do too. Like oh god, this like the, the, this is this is not okay. Um, waves it back over the crowd again. And once everyone can hear again, says, "Y'all, everyone in this room is going back home. You loiter, I shoot you. My boys will shoot you. Will you will be told what is happening next? Do not leave your houses. We will know if you leave your houses. And when people don't move, he points the gun." Not quite into the crowd, but it seems like right over their heads. Maybe he is aiming at somebody, you can't tell. And he start, he shoots again and starts screaming at them to move, move it. Which uh, they do in a stampede. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> we run, I well, run. I'm yeah. <laughs> I have an ounce of self-preservation. <laughs> I will be heading directly home. So, I have to think about what my character would do. I mean, is it? Is, there's too much chaos now. It's it's impossible to tell if this dude actually does have people with him, right? If he does, you haven't seen them. Yeah, it doesn't mean they're not there, but yeah. Yeah, it's it. You know enough. Okay, I will tell you from your background and military background. You know that they're when you left, they were actually starting to work on some pretty advanced. Um, stealth technology. You don't know how good it is now because you kind of not have been in the game for a long time. Yeah. But like, if they got really good at it, it is possible that like you, you know, they could literally be invisible. You just don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shit. Uh, I'm not happy with this, but the Slim's uh, like main things to make sure that. His his people get home safe, so he's gonna see. Well, I hope. Well, the the dude he just saved has apparently run off, so he's gonna make sure the the brothers that he has with him get home safe. And then I have a completely different thing that I'm going to do because with our phones off, I like beyond the cameras, they don't actually have a way to track what we're actually doing. And fuck this. So yeah, well, step one is get my brothers home. Step two is uh, where does the power come from? Is the power plant in this district? District? Or is the power plant someplace else? 
the power plant, the so you, this district is fed power from another district, several districts over. It's one 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 of the districts nearby is entirely like one huge power distribution facility, mm -hmm. and they feed a bunch of different places, including yours, which means that like, someone can cut off the power here, um, but they would have to do it from outside. Hmm. Okay. Um, which is about all you know about it. Um, as you were heading home... Well, I'm heading to the mosque with my brother. Or heading somewhere yeah. else. Um, whether you notice this or not, um, two things will happen. One is that there are, in the distance, what sounds like the chatter of gunfire, but it doesn't happen for very long. And then each of you will get a message on whatever handheld or augment device or whatever you use as far as communication is. Mm -hmm. It's the first message you have gotten since yesterday. Right. When all the networks doing down kind of at once. I just want to say that, that my, my device resembles a Nokia N-Gage, but <laughs> much more advanced. Nice. <laughs> nice. I mean, it is kind of retro futuristic, so. Um, I want my character to be like boarding up his house when he gets this. <laughs> he's just nailing planks of more planks of wood. He's hoping he found his stash uh, to the door and windows. Probably a good idea. Um, is this mess off. So you get this message around the same time. It is text. Um, and there is no signature. Like when in the from line, it's just like a bunch of numbers that aren't uh, even like. W, just phone. say who fucking knows. <laughs> just question mark, question mark, lol, IDK. Um, it is not a message, but a address to a street mm -hmm. that you might recognize as basically being the warehouse part. Like the only thing there is like a couple of warehouses. It's in sort of like the the sort of like off to the off to the side part of town. Okay. The message subject line says be here in three hours. Hmm. All caps. <laughs> my, my character sighs and starts tearing down the boards they just finished putting up. <laughs> So you can get out. <laughs> Gotta get out now. Okay, so one of you is an AI. Mm hmm Where what kind of AI are you? Uh so I'm basically like a uh, little helping Navi. Um so I gave myself uh skills that would go or uh, specialties that you know go well with negotiating people so I can, you know, communicate. Um mm -hmm. Technically speaking, I could uh, do like computer stuff, as in like hacking, but I wouldn't do that. Yeah. So, you're kind of, you're, AI. so for the most part, officially, your customer service is basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, are you attached to a specific like store or office? Uh, so I said that this AI is connected to the uh, Red Spade Software Company. Okay. That sounds like a place that, that would have an office here. Um, at roughly 2 a.m. this morning, you received an encoded message from the corporate office near to up towards the front of the cylinder of the colony. Um, it was brief and using a encoding which you had on, on record, but which you had not seen them use before, which is sort of the high light high security emergency kind of thing telling you that you were to communicate to that some that corporate had a good reason to believe that their property was going to suffer damage in the next 48 hours and instructing you that you were to communicate enough of this to the local staff at the local branch of uh, what's it called red uh, Red Spade. Thing. Of Red Spade um, software 
to get them to take proper precautions without necessarily telling them that something bad was going to happen. Okay. So that was at 2 a.m. And the first person that comes into work, the first people coming to work around um, 7.38, how do you play that off? You need to do to get them to do something that will protect their office from potential, like, break-in or theft. But you need, and it's like a very much like a big emergency Emergency, but you do not know what is happening. You have not been told, and you are also been told to not give them any indication that something bad is ha- is, ha- is coming. All right. So, um, I mean, the power's been off, so clearly I have to communicate that. Um, I feel the like power have- is not yet off yet. It will be oh, all okay. off in an hour. An hour. So at this okay. point, there's still there's still power. Um. In that case. Um. I'm just going to uh, instruct everyone to basically just um, do extra of, oh, what would be the word, uh, just like run diagnostics and whatnot, like, it's just a heavy workflow day, basically, that's what I'm going to tell them. Mm -hmm. Like, check on everything, make sure everything's running smoothly and you know hey everybody will be in here when everything goes down and working on stuff already so they can just keep doing that while whatever dangerous thing is happening is happening okay um that's reasonable enough that people don't really question it and they are working when the power dies (laughs) roughly five seconds before the power dies um which is not that short of a time for um, an AI, you receive a second burst of coded information from Redsman corporate offices. The message is, again, kind of weird um, and heavily heavily encrypted, and it says, essentially, that you are to do whatever... You're given a a pass phrase... And whoever uses this passphrase, you were to do anything within your power to help that person achieve whatever goal they are attempting to achieve without call, without letting any harm befall Red Spade property. All right. What's the passphrase? The specific... Yes, yes. <laughs> the passphrase is Elysium. <laughs> um... You also notice when you are sent this message, this brief bit of code before everything dies, that it is specifically using a channel that is intended for corporate sabotage, like for basically reporting corporate sabotage. Mm. Red Spade was responsible for for writing and um, updating and maintaining a lot of the actual software that runs some of the basic infrastructure in the surrounding districts, including this one. Um, while a lot of corps are not very welcome here, they've never really had a problem because what they provided was pretty basic and they didn't really have a good reason to be mean to anyone about it. So uh, they they have some kind of like, they, they are invested in this community, at least in the sense that like, on a personal, on a purely professional level, this is a model of their work as a company. Right after you get that, the power dies. And everything is very chaotic. The people around you are nervous. And a lot of them actually want to go home. Do you let them go home? Please continue working on maintenance. <laughs> I think they they I think they're pissed about this, but it is kind of the cyberpunk future, so you know <laughs> it's not like you could say no in the cyberpunk future, so uh, oh, that grumbles I mean, this could this could be an opportunity for a social role. Ooh, that is true. Well they let's... are they are incredibly pissed about this. They can't really do a lot of the maintenance. Um they're not gonna outright just like say like leave, but they're the mute the mood is mutinous and they pointed out that they can't really 
do a lot of the things that you wanted to, wanted them to do originally. Um, how are you going to keep them here for at least a little while longer? Well, let's see. So, uh, the mood is mutinous, which means it's hostile. Hostile, which means yes. I can placate. <laughs> so that's uh, 2d6 plus cool, which is my good stats, I believe. Yep, cool plus three. So, roll. If you have a background six. like that can help you, you can get a plus one on it, too, if you have a specialty. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, I specifically have a plus one from Placate. There you go. I also have a plus one to bureaucracy, but I don't quite this, think this is mm -hmm. bureaucracy. So, 2d6 plus four, in fact. Uh, I, I, th I think I, I might have read somewhere in the book that it can't go above plus three, though, so never mind. I didn't realize oh. you were rolling with your plus three stat. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that. The um, specialties can't go above plus three. No, yeah, you, you can, can add more than three to the roll. Okay, so it's 14. Okay, so 14. Yeah. Okay, um, so it looks like this is against a, against a whole, like, people in an entire area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's not that many people working here. Let me break a couple of them and see how many you be here. This is cool. Is this, okay, so is this... This is just, uh, it's not 2d6 plus cool, it's just their cool period, right? It's hard uh, to say, see. it doesn't really say how the rolling mechanics work, and I've seen. Yeah, it says versus cool area. Let's see. It's probably a verse, so, like, if cool they were, defense, yeah, if so they were set it out, cool. it'd be, yeah, it'd be 7 plus their cool. Like, the group's cool. Okay. The group's cool averages about 9. Okay. So, yeah, that works. Seven <laughs> Somehow this two. works. Um, can I locate, or, like, would I know uh, that this is a power outage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Okay, how do, so, okay, so like, like... You know it's a power outage. Um... As an AI, you're basically constantly networked to the sort of the corporate like servers. Okay, you're so. constantly being pinged back and forth. You are not getting this. It is complete dead. This has never happened, literally ever. You have no precedent for this, and there, there is actually no like contingency in company policy for how to deal with this, except that in the a vague statement in the case of emergency. When a local AI at a office branch feels th that um, things have spiraled out of control or might spiral out of control, that they have the authority to take whatever um, whatever actions are necessary to maintain company property and the safety of employees, up to um, and including uh, keeping them in the building by locking all the doors. They are not. You are not. They are not allowed to hurt anybody, but they are allowed to sort of keep them there if things are bad outside. <laughs> oh, I I found it. I found it. Uh, the fight tips page on page twenty six says what opponents are. They have a level, which they get. That that's the bonus they get. They roll against players and their defense, which is five plus their level. Okay. Five plus their level. Got it. That's good. And they might have traits if it if it matters. Yeah. So that's it. I thought that's that was really for, like that physical fight. That's everything. No, Fefner, come back. No, you should... Fefner, yeah, they should think. Jenner, I, in the feedback, I would say it might be good to like lead with how the roles happen before they give you all the like yeah how the like all the roles yes. because like okay. I had no clue anywhere. I yeah the the formatting here is a little problematic. That because I've been I've been struggling to figure this out figure this out as we go. Uh, some of it's some of it makes sense. I can provide you more detail in writing later. Yeah, if you um, put, where did you uh, how did you put this, like, layout, out, how the roles happen first? Is that how you put it? Um, we, we, can, we can do posting. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll, we'll do we'll that. We'll talk about this afterwards. Um, okay, sorry. Real quick, where do you see that for my future reference? Because there uh, are about to be a lot of roles. page 26. 26. An anatomy of an opponent. Okay. It's level, it's the bonus that adds to rules make it slow players, it's defense, which is generally five plus level. Generally five. Okay. Yeah, that's and, actually super And the easy. levels are like in the start of each section. Next year level, yeah. never level stuff. I okay. think we lost Fafner though, so we may have to move to somebody else. That's fine, because that was uh, uh, died. 
Yeah, that's okay. Um, Why does the internet hate the coolest girls? I don't know. Ours is probably because of um, we had a lot of bad storms in this area. Mm. Okay, so you have this message. It is vague and gives you an address. It doesn't say to come alone. It just says to be here in three hours, which is about a little after five. Um, the right. first thing is, what do you do in the meantime before you even decide if you're going to go or not? Well, Salim is kicking himself because I believe I'm under the impression, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff, that the huge nerd that he rescued was clearly a huge nerd that Salim could have used for his next plan that he didn't keep his hands on. Oh, the huge absolutely. nerd, the huge, the it, huge it, weeb with like the I, I can't go like hoodie escape. How dare you? How, okay, how dare you? First of all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I, that is, I'm, I'm X counting that right now. <laughs> you, no, please describe what your character's wearing, but he's clearly a nerd, right? He's very clearly a nerd. Like, maybe he's got, like, the, like, you know, the, the nerd, fashionable nerd, mm -hmm. you know? But, like, but it's, like, a butt-up shirt. But, like, no, it's very, very clearly, like, a, just, like, a, a real thin dude who... Like probably had too many devices on him, mm -hmm. and was an abject coward. Yeah, and so, so Slim spends a bit of time in the mosque, uh, kicking himself because he let the nerd escape, and he could have used that nerd. Um, and then um, I guess the first thing uh, we need to do is uh, I hope this isn't too abusive, but I want to say I hope that the, the mosque has a generator and we're going to get the generator going and try and figure out where the power outage is coming from by like using um, what we have yeah, here. Yeah, I think it's reasonable. I think it's reasonable that they have some kind of generator that is there for like, there have been enough power outages over the years because this is a very low priority district that there's probably a generator, but it is not designed to 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 last for very long. Yeah, yeah no. what would a generator on a space station look like? Because it wouldn't be gas. Like, well, I was going like to describe. It's, it's, it's a big battery that is recharged by uh, biking, like getting on the bike and, and, and pumping. Uh, the so, uh, yeah, it's like physical, it's physical literal labor actual, recharge. Like, yep. That's the worst. I hate it. It also yep. is good. Um, the system, by the way, for the whole thing, the the actual um, station itself is um, actually solar powered because the entirety of the way it's built makes it the entire thing one huge fucking solar array. Mm -hmm. um, you live inside of your own generator, kind yeah. of, but that doesn't necessarily mean you get the actual power from it. What your what your service area provides, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, so like that, that that's pretty workable. They drive that out. Uh, there's there's several other people here as well. Yeah. Like, well, some the of mosque the is a some, common is a common get together place. So a, yeah, a, like, people a lot people of people have sort of come here. People have sort of gathered here because they are afraid to be alone at home, um, and they're hoping that someone else has, has answers. Nobody has answers right now. Um, the one of the there. Are, there are a couple of moms who live in this district, and one of them is here right now. The other one is kind of old, and he's at home, and someone has already kind of gone off to make sure that he is okay right now. Mm -hmm. But the one who is here helps you pull out this generator, mm -hmm. and um, he is he's about 40. He's offered to, you know, to light pedal for a while if you need him to. Well, I'm, the, um, I'm young. You got teens you know, for I'm that. young. We you got, got we got a couple we got some bored teens here. I'm a twenty eight year old, you know, army vet. I can I've got a cyber leg. I can do a bit of I can do a bit of, of, of biking as well. All right. So like okay, you're able to get some power. What are you gonna do with this power? So we are going to try and use the the handful of like mishmash machines we have down here that we mostly use to to let the, the boys and girls uh, run land parties. Down here in the in the Masjid basement, normally they're just like playing StarCraft or whatever. You know, Jenner, I imagine that since you have connect, you could like send someone to find me. Yeah. In the so one thing we're gonna I'm gonna send one of the kids out to find this fucking nerd, um, and I'm gonna describe him and say Hago could kill it. No, I'm joking. I'm no. Drop the X fucking card. joke. X card. I'm dropping the joke. Respect it's my boundaries. <laughs> I'm respecting them. 
I see them and I respect them. Um, so yeah, first thing he's going to do is find, uh, send one of the kids out uh, to find the nerd who's better with computers. Because I don't know if any of the people who are good with computers are actually here at the Mashdeed. And I and I want to involve the other no. players, so I'm going to say that none of them are. They're too busy doing something else. No, it's most of the people here are like. Um, there, a lot of them the are the activists are... that probably do like feeding and like emergency. Re yeah, and like none of the tech nerds are have the emergency. Yeah, the people who are stuff. volunteers. Yeah. You have like a couple of families. You've got some. You've got some. Um, Guys who like who who work in some of the local um, construction and stuff, mm -hmm. but you don't have anyone who is a computer expert. Maybe yeah. somebody who could like fix it, and make your iPad iPad work, but like yeah, barely. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna send out one of the kids to find the nerd that and describe him and get him in here because he knows how to use the computer. So again, these are some very basic computers that can run like. Yeah you know, StarCraft or whatever that we use for the kids to get, like, to entertain them as, like, LAN parties and whatever. Yeah. But for the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try, until the nerd gets here, to locate, uh, just, like, check the internet, check social media, and see if anybody can figure out where the power outage actually came from. Like, we know it came from outside, or I presume it came from outside, but I'm wondering where outside. So, when you try to access some of the, like, there is, there is basically Facebook, um, Facebook, I like it. Facebook, Facebook is good. <laughs> Facebook. I'm writing um, it down and recommending it to as a thing to 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 you're, Freya. You're, normally you would you would use there's there's actually basically a a internet that only works like this kind of just the station internet. Yeah. That like it's a limited form of like you're you're not gonna be able to access everything you want on Earth, but. It works fine enough, and it's free. That just doesn't work. Ah, so okay. your normal ways of accessing the internet do not work. Um, if you were able to, like, d maybe like directly find, um, if you were able to get into the innards of the station and plug in directly, you might be able to make it work. Mm -hmm. But it's just like not like you're getting like a packet of information every like uh. five minutes kind of thing. Like it's it's something is throttled it to hell. I remember um, I'm old enough you can do. to remember internet to slow like on dial up, but this is dial up speeds. <laughs> this works in dial up might, speeds. <laughs> you might be able to log in and access a single file after mm -hmm. ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. And Maybe. the problem is it's not written for the slow speeds anymore, so everything's even worse. <laughs> yeah, it's just horrendously bad. Websites are just bigger now. <laughs> and I, I only know how to get Jeff's character involved. I have no idea how to get Loka's character involved. I'm sorry, Loka. I I have an idea about that, actually. Okay, so hopefully... I mean, you um, already texted me. I'm going to the place. Well, yeah. We know that Loka's character will eventually show up at the location. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so we have that. Um, Jeff, what is the name? Cool Ranch. Yeah, Cool Ranch. Cool. Oh, you weren't joking. Okay. No. That's my, it's my internet. That's my internet handle. I'm very, I'm very popular on the internet. <laughs> All right, Trevor. And I'm dying right now. Because so you, you have, you have figured out that despite your best efforts, um, so far you've not been able to get online, partially because you do not have any power. Um, um I have my phone is it's, it's slowly dying. Um. Around about like forty minutes after you've uh, after the debacle at uh, town hall, you get a knock on your on your um, on your door. Uh, right before this happens, I I'm looking at my phone and I'm super bored, so I respond to that message to see if anything happens. Nope, <laughs> just to see. Nothing. <laughs> All right, I go to the door. Not even there's not even a sort of like little red notification. Oh. They didn't even leave you on red. They left you on ignored. <laughs> Dang. I open the I open the door. Hello. What? There is dying. a kid. There's a kid with a bicycle. What do you um, want, team? He looks you over and says, "And you're like, hey, did you get did you get knocked off a pole? No, of course I didn't. What are you talking <laughs> about? Like talking about my color? <laughs> that wouldn't happen to someone as cool as me." <laughs> yeah. Okay, that definitely happened to you. Um, uh, do you remember? Do you remember the guy who, who like was there? He probably like did some shoving or something. Uh, 
big one. It was well, he's not, not big. He's not that big. He's not big. bigger than me. <laughs> he's big, like, and he's like he's trying to articulate that that like muscle big, but just ends up being like weird pantomime. Uh, like wide big. The, the dude, <laughs> the dude with, with the surgery scars who refuses to wear a shirt. That guy. You know, like the one who never wears a shirt. Listen, kid, I'm kind of struggling right now here with no power. So, like, unless we you tell, give me we some got a power, generator. <laughs> if you come oh. with me to where that dude, I will give you power because we have a generator. Okay, give me like five minutes. I just go. I just cram a bunch of electronics in a bag. Mm-hmm. They all look very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he'll lead you back. He'll he'll uh, lead I, you back to the. I get on the Pegasus bike. Yes, <laughs> he will bike you all the way back to the to the mosque. While you are going, um, you do hear distant sounds that sound like a like gunfire, but they're very far away, and you're not really sure. And if you're just like jumpy, or if it's actually something happening, um. You do not see people in the street anymore. Um, you do see a lot of people like looking out at windows at you. It's like there's movement outside that scares them now. Oh yeah, can you go faster? Because I thought there were like dudes with like guns and stuff. Come on, kid. Feel the pace. <laughs> he briefly considers dropping you, <laughs> um, but doesn't out of out of loyalty to Salim. Um, so he'll get he'll get you there. Um, no problems getting there and drops you off and then bails on you as soon as you're in the door because like he's got better stuff to do he's got to charge his phone too yeah, Salim will greet you um he's been waiting uh he's still still small still muscly still got uh the scars from his breast removal like bare chest just standing there like hey come help me out with nerd stuff you owe me. I'm Salim. Yeah. Uh, Bador Pasha. Don't worry about the Pasha thing. They just call me that as a joke. Come down. I'm known as. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the realization that your your handle may not be appropriate for the situation. <laughs> if you said Cool Ranch, she'd be like, "What? Like the Doritos? <laughs> okay, whatever." <laughs> they don't exist anymore. It's a hum it's an homage. <laughs> <laughs> we live this is the darkest timeline. <laughs> Doritos don't exist anymore. No, just cool ranch Doritos don't exist anymore. They just <laughs> okay. they just them. They it's hot ranch right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's weak. Alright. Okay. So I have an idea for getting me to the mosque before the um the, the mystery location. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, in addition to boarding up my place, I am also trying to coordinate all my other workers to make sure they're not doing anything stupid, like going out where there are crazed gunmen around. There are a couple. There are. There will be probably at least one or two of them. Who there is at least one. I saw him. <laughs> Everyone else stay inside. But if I'm going to be out anyways. I may as well do do a little bit of work while I'm out, and I'm going to go, I don't know, fix a hole in the roof of the mosque. Cool. Because I was hired to do that, I guess. Sure. Oh. All right, so... You were basically... So I haven't was, given you my character's name, by the way. Yeah, we still don't yeah, know your character's to, name. What is your character's uh, name? His name is Willie Macon. You know... <laughs> <laughs> And his company slogan is "Yes, he will." No. Pending slogan: Bob the Builder is a bitch, and I could beat him up. Wow, I thought I was bad. <laughs> I'm I just, genuinely proud. The only cyberpunk character I know is hero protagonist, and I was trying to think of a name as dumb as that. <laughs> oh my god! It's, um, just, it's just what he does. He makes stuff, so I'm calling him make it. So. If I'm understanding you correctly, you one of your workers is not at home, or I'm like, making sure everyone is staying at home. Okay, so um, I can't control what they do. So if you want to say one of them leaves home, you can. But yeah, I'm telling them to stay at home. There are a couple of them that are out. Um, one of them specifically let has taken his um, family and 
left their house um, and has actually headed towards the mosque, which you don't necessarily know that's where he's going, but you know that he's left because it's like right down the street. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's, it's thinking, no, stop it, go home. Look, I'm look, I'm I'm just going off the street. Like it's no, it's not a big deal. We can't be all by ourselves like this. Like it's just too much. The stay at home order is tyranny. It's, yeah, it's been an hour. It's been less than an hour. Liberate, liberate the station. <laughs> Stop having it be closed. <laughs> Gotta get my roof bleached. <laughs> Okay. I just send to him the, the angry emoji over and over again. <laughs> like, he insists that he is safe. He's at the moss. He's like, if you don't believe him, you can literally come look, but he is not going home. <laughs> yeah, she has tried. Well, he's he's in a place, so it's fine. It's Um, all right, yeah. Well, then I'll go to the box so I can be with all the other characters. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, show up. Like, I don't believe you. Since you so many <laughs> show up. Issues, this usually works. Carrying an extra three planks because I've been home in order to get more. <laughs> <laughs> Just smack him with one of them. Okay. So. Okay. You're all there. Before you head out, I think you wanted to try and see if. Um, your amateur decker here could figure out how to make the internet work. <laughs> yep. I think I think we we smash cut and I've like pulled up like a panel in the basement floor and I'm just like rooting through cables. <laughs> and like I don't okay. know if I can do anything with this. This is a uh, uh, a little bit dangerous, but here we go. You want me to roll for something? <laughs> yes, actually. All right. Um, um, let's I guess see it'd be hacking, here. wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Um, it would be hacking. Uh, it's 2d6 plus clever versus 5 plus the network level. Okay, so let me look at what hacking type I want to use because I care. Uh, I'm, I'm bullshitting this, honestly. <laughs> like, I'm just, I am fucking just winging it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Nice. So I got plus plus two to that because I'm great. Okay, so. Oh my god! Ooh, this is the action. This is part of the station, like um, infrastructure. Yeah, but it's like it's... a it's like a uh, community like. Hype. Yeah, so it's, it's not, not like... like it's not like top tier, but it is a five. Oh, uh, well. So. so that's not going to work if you with an eight. Well, <laughs> it's been cleared. So what happens to me? Okay, so <laughs> what happens to you? What happens to you is that in the process of you trying to brute force your way into a government controlled like um, network, it turns hostile and kicks you out. And also, like, turns off whatever device you were using to access it. Ah! Oh! It, I think a little, a little bit of the magic blue smoke comes out of it. <laughs> it's like straight up <laughs> fucking <laughs> fried. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> my clouds! Uh, I fall on my knees. <laughs> Selim, uh, too, pats, too complicated. You, pats you awkwardly on the shoulder. Like, that's, that's tough, buddy. I'm good at, like, getting someone to tell me tell me the password, not plugging into physical cables. I'm not an electrician. Alright, well, so we're not... <laughs> My life is over! No. I, I just kind of, like, I pout. Easy. Really hard. I still don't know your character's name. Easy, kid. Um, well, wait, how old, is he, how old does your character look? Oh, God, he's probably in his 30s. Okay, you're actually older than my character! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, you know in anime when you have the guy and... Their defining feature is bags on the eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm that guy. Yeah. Uh, Just tired. I should have made my character <laughs> older. I didn't want them to be as old as I thought they should be. Um, because I'm I'm being ageist about my character. I mean, he's older, but he is he is probably not more. Mature. Yeah. So. so uh, fine. Um, he's a gremlin. Easy there, buddy. He's online again. 
Oh, yay. So gays. According to, Wait, what's going on? According to Fafner, everybody's Discord is blowing up, and there it's a mystery why we have not blown up. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, really? then. Yeah, I like on Twitter. Well, everyone's like, she's no. She's online again. Yeah, everyone on Twitter. Everyone's like crying. No, I'll, I'll text her. I'm Maybe blowing. we should just call it for the day before everything. Uh, yeah, see, down. look at that. It's blowing up. Do we want? Oh, that's why we just none of us live in that coast. area. Yeah, none of us. Yeah, are in that we're, area. We're, we're, we're using. Yeah, I'm in Michigan. I'm fine. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of difficult to continue to play without one of the players, but I do want us to get to a point where we can like continue this. Like, let's get yeah. the point where we'd meet that player. Yeah, let's yeah. and then stop. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so your attempts to your attempts to kind of like get access to the wider internet has failed. Mm -hmm. um, the device that you were using is not like dead forever no but, i have i have so many it's destroyed it's fine <laughs> yeah but like it's definitely you you're you would have to actually work to unlock it again so unfortunately yeah. the I, think, is I think it's hostile. funny if it's like physically fried like it's destroyed <laughs> well, <laughs> so like that's kind of out the window uh, mm. so time passes and it's about time for you guys to go you yeah, probably I'm, realize Selena's very gonna quickly check on the dude, like, fixing the roof, and then we'll all get together and head out together, or, like... I think I, we I think only at some point, we realize you know, we I all think got it is. the same I think message. We, yeah, I think we all go there, and then we just, like, we're all leaving at the same time. Like, yeah, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's Selena. a pretty... It, it's actually not far... It's actually not far from the mosque. Um, you do not see anyone... Oh, Salim will bring oh, his rifle, because he's done, like, not okay. bringing his rifle. <laughs> Out of curiosity, this this world has, like, energy weapons are kind of more of a hardcore thing. Mm -hmm. Is he using something that's mil-spec, or is it just something he just got, you know? It's, it's, it's a military, it's not an energy rifle, he's more of a, a still a bullets kind of guy, he's very old Okay, so... I, I would but say it, he's not rolling those, with like hard yeah. hardcore military. Yeah, it's no, probably no. an assault style rifle, the kind you have to build yourself to get around the laws about them. Yeah. Well, that makes it legal okay. because now it's not an assault rifle because it was constructed from different parts. Yep, yep, yep. That okay. Uh, thank you. That actually is good. That is mildly relevant. Um, so when you arrive at this location, it is a warehouse. Not surprisingly, it's mm -hmm. a warehouse district. Um. All right. Back. <laughs> and and Fafner's here too. <laughs> awesome. Um and it is completely empty. Like every like the whole like the street is. There is a single door into this place. It's the big door in front of the warehouse. Mhm. Mm um there was there was a padlock on it. I say was because someone has obviously burnt through it. Mm. Recently because it's still warm. Mm. All right. Well, I, I guess um, well, Slim will lead the way because he's the one who's good. At, well, he's not the only one that's good at combat, but he's the one with experience getting fucked up. So he'll lead the way and open up the the door slowly and and get on the floor and everybody rock the dinosaur. Now, um, just open the door slowly and step in. Um, he yeah, brought. Yes, I'll back you up from from this like ten feet back. Yeah, just he brought. Oh notice. God! Ah, oh, God! I have a funny. So he pulls out a pistol from his back, like his back belt, where he kept it, and he hands it to the nerd who absolutely does not know how to use a pistol. I'm sure, and probably freaks the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> hands it to cool I, I, I think I just I just like hold it by two fingers, <laughs> and I just I, I gently just crouch down and put it on the ground. No! <laughs> <laughs> He's such a dweeb. Listen. Listen, Whoa. listen, kid. It, it doesn't even matter at this point that you are older than him. Slim is like, no, that I don't. I refuse to believe. Just grab it, and I'll t train you how to use it later. But you, you might need it. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. No, you, you go ahead and take that back. It, it, it is th th nothing I could possibly would ever help you. I'm, I'm being completely serious right now. Just, just take that back. Okay, he'll pick back up the pistol and he'll put it back in his, his back holster and he'll sigh, like, and shake his head and be like, oh god. <laughs> it's so fucked. 
Um, he'll step into the room. His his rifle has a flashlight on it because, of course, it does. It's very tactical, you know. Um, so he, if there's no light on the inside, he can at least flash the flashlight on his gun around. Yeah. So he'll the do, inside he'll, is... he'll check the corners and check everything and make sure you know there's nothing weird going on before he lets everybody else in. All right, as he looks around, um, this place is empty. Mm -hmm. There are some boxes in the back that have tarp on them. Okay. Um, dust in the air. Mm -hmm. There is nothing okay. except, of course, for a table mm -hmm. with a la with a laptop that's probably from the early two thousands on it. <laughs> Amazing. It looks really old. It's a gateway PC. So excited. Nah, yeah. it's, it's, it's probably a think book. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have the like translucent casing? That would be no, awesome. Uh, I miss it. No, I hated those. Yeah. There's, you might. They they look my, so that's my aesthetic. Fact, I had enough, that Game Boy. If you're still here, you might also want to get in the roll of 20 so you can roll dice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and I guess do you have does your character Fefner have like an Android body and are they physically nope. here or okay, so they're on our our smartwatches or whatever. Okay. Probably on that laptop. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> well I was gonna be leading you up to this before um Discord died on you, but you do actually get a that a message from someone who does not identify themselves who gives you that passcode that corporate gave you. Telling you to load a um, to basically upload yourself to a d device which you are unfamiliar with across town. <laughs> well, I mean they have the passphrase, so uh, yeah. gotta go through with it. I see no problem which, with this. Um, when you get to it, it is a computer. It is kind of cramped, honestly. Um, it doesn't have the power that you're used to having at your fingertips. Um, it's a really, really old. You don't know why it's so terribly old. I have um, a question for Fefner. Mm -hmm. Yes? What do you delete on this laptop to make space for yourself? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, it's uh, Microsoft, right? Or Microsoft adjacent. So, you know, Minecraft yes. is probably pre-installed on there. But, like, Minecraft is tiny, so I probably need to get a little more than that. Uh, I mean, there would be... Uh, uh, what was that noise? I like a laser. <laughs> what else are you deleting? Well, they found us. <laughs> You know, let me just uh, look through, add, or remove programs and see what I don't recognize that might be on this computer. <laughs> uh, why is the entire discography of Smash Mouth not downloaded to this computer? If there's a, there's, they, got, they got Shark Tail on this computer. We got to bring that one back. God damn it. I don't know. There's, if there's definitely, is there's definitely that. like a Diablo 2, an old, never played Diablo 2 demo. Mm -hmm. What's the System 32 folder? Don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I'm trying to think, like, what stupidly big games would have been around in the early 2000s? Was Crisis around? Yes. <laughs> this is one of the, the many computers that could not run Crisis at the time Crisis was created. Microsoft Visual C++. These are all pretty tiny files, and I don't know which year is the correct one. <laughs> what will be destroyed if I delete one of these? I don't know. They have to stay here forever. <laughs> Delete them all, but God sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, Fefner's here in the computer. Alright, so, uh, Sleem's Sle gonna basically push Cool Ranch over to the computer, because Cool Ranch is the one who knows how to use computers. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't I don't, blow, up, don't blow up this one, lad. I, I just I just smacked the space about to wake you from sleep. <sighs> okay. Days. As you guess, that computer has um, Fefter's AI on it. I is... Red Spade Software Spade Pile Trademark <laughs> Units. Please designate me as I'm apparently required on this mission. Uh, you're, you're valid, I guess. I don't know. Mission? Mission? I just got a text that said come here or else. As did I. I was These... not given very specific instructions. So on this computer, open at this point is actually 
a old video chat program, which you've never heard of from the early 2000s. (laughs) It's not picto chat. Um, And it starts flashing in the corner, like really conspicuously, like someone's calling you. It's ICQ. ICQ's back, baby. It's the year 2020, and we brought ICQ ICQ back. (laughs) Someone click that. I'm tired of seeing it flash. It's making me nervous. AI, can you get that, please? Very well. And and I click it. Okay, it pops up. There is no video feed, but there is an audio feed, and it begins speaking immediately. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad that you all made it. Call me Aeschylus. Call you what? <laughs> or don't. Aeschylus. Let's try that again. Aeschylus, Look, okay. You know what? Don't call me anything. You're probably not going to talk to me again. As you you can tell from being outside, everything is bad. I'm assuming that you've run into um, the shouty one. The doom guy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that everyone else calls him that too. <laughs> um, oh, where do I begin? Why are we here? You're here... Because, frankly, I picked it random. Because <laughs> I've been monitoring the situation. I noticed a few people in the crowd. Um, Salim, you yeah. happen. You look like you could probably handle yourself. Um, well, I mean, one of you fought your way out. One of you, I know well. Cool ranch. <laughs> Many a time have we sparred in different forms. You don't know me, but I know you. Mm, Well, I mean, I've owned so many noobs, so, like, I couldn't really tell them apart. If this this one's about to die, I'm not necessarily saying you have to save him. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, I will live on. Online. (laughs) Your clout continues. Um... The AI is here because AIs are useful, and the only one, the only people I have any kind of leverage with at the moment is is Red Spade. I'm going to cut to the chase. You're here because someone needs to get outside of the district. Mm-hmm. Funny that was there going to be more, my next move. <laughs> there is more to this. The people who are currently running amok in Elysium Heights are accelerationists. But they didn't cut the power. They were here already. Well, yeah, I mean, they took that live somewhere. I think I know who cut the power. And I think I know what their plan is. But for me to, f- to confirm that, I need someone to physically leave the district, go over next door to the Romeo, and set up a beacon. The beacon is in this computer, so please do not lose this computer. I know it's old. It was the it was it was it was there, and I had it on hand. I don't exactly you know I can't exactly go outside, go to shopping next door, you know, the, the whole end of the world happening. Yeah. But once this beacon is outside. I can actually contact the outside world and get everyone else connected as well. We can figure out what's going on and what people are saying about what's happening here. And I can contact some people I know to confirm my suspicions. In the meantime, I have figured a way out. I hope that you are not, none of you are claustrophobic. Mm. Mm. I'm not, but I'm going to be mad about it. <laughs> well, you know, it, it never bothered me too much, but it always kind of low-key bothered me. I'll be fine. Okay, good. Uh, how do I describe this? Um, there's a maintenance... Um, well, okay, it's not really maintenance. Let's be real. It's more of a bolt hole um, in the office of this building. Okay. Guy who used to work here forever ago had it installed. I don't know why. He was really paranoid. Uh, he wanted a way to 
be able to get out of the warehouse district without anyone seeing him. Um, I've decided to take advantage of it. It's in his office. I've already opened it. All you need to do is climb down until you're into the actual maintenance shafts and then follow the emergency lighting, which I've already activated. Okay. It should be fine, but there's a non-zero chance that the accelerationists have already started moving, trying to get out themselves. They want to get out as much as we do. The difference is that if they get out, they're going to cause a lot of shooting, and if you get out, hopefully you won't. Is there atmosphere in these tunnels? Just, just, just asking. Just, just to make sure. Yes. Um, I, I wouldn't don't... stay there for long. It is a little mm. thin. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, that's why the that's why the scroungers usually um, wear masks. Oh, you know about those, right? Yes. What? I, I know about. Oh. Those, so. I say yes, but I'm lying. Okay, for those of you who have been on this place, been on this station for more than about five or six years, yep. there is an urban myth that of, about scroungers who live in the maintenance tunnels, who are basically like, basically they're 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 like junkies in space. So the chuds. Kind of yeah, and supposedly, according to legend, some of them go crazy down there because they can't find their way out. And they turn to attacking maintenance maintenance staff. They're basically the station's equivalent of crocodiles in the sewer. So, logistically, since this is a uh, a space station, and that would be further out from the center. Wouldn't there be more gravity down there? Oh, there's gravity. Yes, tons of gravity. There's gravity. It's fine. It's 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 um, air that's actually more of a problem. No, I mean, wouldn't it be extra gravity because it's spinning fat, uh, further out, right? Yeah, like I said, tons of gravity. Perfectly oh. fine. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so hard. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you you know, um, if you have motion sickness, um, sorry. All right, Salim is gonna look up uh, and down, um, uh, Willie, and uh, acknowledge that he looks like he can, you know, swing a bat or something. He looks fit, right? Your character looks Does fit. Does he have a plank with him? Do you have the... Do you, did you bring a plank? Did you bring a security plank? I might have had an extra plank. <laughs> okay. I was going to use it to fix the roof, but I only needed two. Thank so you. So I have an extra one now. Thank you for being willing to fix the roof. Uh, okay, look. I'm I mean, gonna... I did it for money. You thanked me by paying me. Of course. Alright, um... Cool Ranch, I guess that's your name. What a okay, you know, just put the laptop in your little backpack thing. I'm gonna lead the way. Cool Ranch, you come after me, and then Willie, I tell me. Well, tell yep. me, what is your name, guy? Uh, Willie, make it. Okay, I'm I'm Salim. Follow behind the, the Cool Ranch here and. Take I thought the you were going to. Get, I thought you to say no. You're not. No. <laughs> it's not your name. You're not real. Uh, I reach into my bag and I pull out a webcam and like a USB arm and plug them into the computer. Okay. So now you have eyes and a little robot arm. It's probably useless, but I'd do it anyways. I thought this might come in handy. Get it? And I, I high five the little hand. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for the spare appendage. While you were talking, um, Ace Glitz actually already hung up. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why do you use video chat if it was audio only? That is actually a pretty good question. Um, honestly, it's probably knowing, knowing what I know about this character from what I was thinking about him, word of God, it's probably because he chickened out at the last moment because he couldn't make himself look cool enough. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately trying to get face break working at the last second. Mm -hmm. Could have been dog bowl. All right, so he thought about using IRC to impress you with his like neat <laughs> skills at resurrecting a dead format. But... Oh yeah, that super low number. Yeah, he's got like the yeah. really really low CQ number. <laughs> he was the second one. Amazing. All right, so Salim's gonna lead begin, the way with his rifle. I'll go ahead, talk. Before we begin, I've designated this group three, six, seven, eight. Uh -huh. Please, introduce yourselves, because I know none of you. 
Come All on. right. You already know my name. What, yeah, what are you calling? Like... What are you calling yourself? AI. God, I don't. I am merely a spade pal unit. You may right. designate me whatever you would like. Okay, pal. Um, I'm Sleem. Uh, yeah. You just call me. Slim. I'm Willie. Apparently, my last name is a point of contention in this. I haven't said I... shit, Willie. It's fine. You can call yourself whatever you I think that's you great want. branding, friend. <laughs> Thanks, Cool Ranch. I'm glad Cool Ranch isn't making fun of me for my dumb name. <laughs> I have it's said all the, shit. Talk about that, that click-through, pal. And that's gonna get you that click-through. <laughs> Please. Alright. You know who we are. I'm going down in leading the way now. The air is very thin. I'm gonna be moving fast. Just try to keep up, but and don't waste air yelling at me if you can't, because then you might pass out not to drag you through the chute. Okay. Alright, we go to that office. What's in there? Yeah. What kind of warehouse was this? Um, you're not really sure, because the, there are some boxes left over, but um, there's tarp on them, and you can't really see any identifying marks. I mean, if you want to check, you can. Mm, I'm not that interested. Yeah, Selene's just going to find the, the hole that this that Aceless mentioned, and start going, and just be grumbling. I can't believe we're just believe like trusting a fucking voice from a computer no offense pal <laughs> i fail to see how that would lack offense <laughs> <laughs> i i'll have you know i am very offended i can't believe they, how dare you speak i can't believe way. they programmed the computer to be offended no. okay so you do go down you do head down the uh ball hole yeah Okay, so this place is dusty as hell. Oh, yeah. Um, it smells terrible down there. Mm. And it is super dusty. And you have the feeling that, like, at some point... the This guy used these tunnels and probably tried to store, like, beer down here at one point. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, he's the kind of person who decided it was a good idea to stick a friggin' hole in the space station. Mm-hmm. Um, when you get down there, you don't actually hear, like, you don't hear anything besides your own breathing, though. Mm -hmm. There are emergency lights, like you were promised, heading off in one of the directions. Mm -hmm. I've got earpods on, I can't hear them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, however, yeah, they just, they just searched line. the implanted. <laughs> Never take them out. Lore. However, unfortunately, it is not a straight line. Um, this is going to be a series of curves. <laughs> and, like, complicated bases. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we should probably, like, prep for this mission. It's since we're doing a mission, right? Isn't that a mechanic yes. of the game? Yes. What are you... So, what... Here's the situation to lay you out before you kind of figure out what you're doing here. Um, you need to traverse these tunnels. There are possibly hostile, um, accelerationists, because they are also trying to dig their way out. Um, there may or may not be people who are sort of, like, hang out in these, in the, in these tunnels who are agitated by all the noise, mm -hmm. and may or may not decide that you are probably worth attacking, and they're probably definitely deranged from all their wandering, Depending on if you believe that or not, um, there are security systems down here, but you don't think that they'll bother you. I think that I think that they'll bother me. I absolutely <laughs> think that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna roll um, mine. Um, we all get personal prep and group prep. Um, yep. So, what so uh, page is that on? So what are we? It is on page. Oh, yeah. 29. Okay, 29. thank you. Let me go to that and read it really quick while everybody so, else is already it. It's a 2d6 plus ability plus bestie versus 7. Okay. Yeah, so we're basically just get points anything above 7. Okay. Yeah, we're describing what we're doing, basically, so... Well, I this is like my, the pre yeah, this is like the prep for the whole mission, not just this part, so like... Yeah, so like, it's in broad strokes, as it says, so uh, I feel like 
I'm actually pretty good at mapping. Now oh, that's actually one of my um, uh, what is it? Uh, specialties. I've got mapping, so I don't know if that would uh, specify to prep since I, you know, didn't set it to be uh, specific for prep. So I won't include that. But yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing. Figuring out what is the most uh, efficient routes in this case. So, 2d6 ability, specialty versus 7. Okay. Alright, ooh, that's a good roll. Alright. Alright, so, so my prep is I just, I have just a bag of, like, nonsense. Do you let shine the place? That's, 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 that's a right. big old sack. Alright. I think mapping this out would probably be more clever than cool, because yeah, it's... Uh, and let's see. Um, it does say uh, plus specialty versus... So ability and specialty factors. Yeah, so this is like, like what software suites do you have available? Like, what, what, do you, what, what stuff do you have available that I do this mission with? Yeah, so that since might, I do have... Might come up programs uh, specific to this, I guess I will include that. This is basically like the, the load from Blades and Dark stuff. You just you make shit up later. Yeah. yeah. So, clever plus two, so uh, let's see. That would be a plus three overall, so roll 2d6 plus uh, three, I think I said. Yeah. Three. Ooh. That's only a seven. Oh, uh, dear. On the bright side, um, I, I do have the uh, overprepared traits uh, in which uh, the first time you make any prep roll in a mission, gain one additional prep even on a failure. So if tying doesn't count, I still have one prep for personal. Uh, the downside to this is if either your personal prep or group prep runs out during a mission, you have disadvantage on all rolls for the rest of the mission. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, so if it's your first roll, you get one. You get usually get one extra, uh, and every three above the difficulty, you add one additional prep. Every so three, okay, get, so I just have two then, yes. since I have default in my own. Yes, so I'll have four. Uh, and in addition, uh, I have gregarious, which also uh, I believe affects prep. Okay, so yeah, uh, the first time you spend cash in a session, you also gain one personal prep. Uh, however, that's not relevant because I have no money and we're probably not going to be spending money uh, in mm -hmm. this mission. Look at how you prepared. Um, so I've been uh, working on various buildings in this space station for quite some time. And I did some work for the building we're going to break into a while back. So I'm going to go uh, remember what parts of that building were fairly holding together, it could fall apart very easily. Just any weird thing about the building that might be useful. And the time, okay. So I think and this I don't is think we have time for group prep, and so it takes a week, so I don't yeah. think we get that. Yeah, that's, technically that's like speaking, we playing. don't even really have personal prep time, but you know, we can wait for We that. have like a something. day before this happens, so we're fine. Uh, and I'm gonna use my specialty obscure places. Oh, we have the same specialty, awesome. Well, well, I would, I would definitely say that, like, the maintenance tunnels count as an obscure place. Oof. Well. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say we do in ties. Look who's SOL. We're just gonna you basically uh, let, let the GM decide if it's a success or failure, and I'll, I'll let um, the, the people who, like, designed this know that we need to have some hard rules for tie breaks. Yeah, I'm gonna say with the I like I like the idea that at some point, um, your construction company was um, was contracted to do some grunt work for the station. Very minor work. Yeah, but minor stuff. But we you were like attention. eighth level subcontracted. <laughs> you but you paid attention. I think you you know enough to know like uh, be not completely in the dark down here. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm gonna say that's gross success. All right, and my turn to fail the roll and roll a seven. Um, 
I mean, what the heck is Salim good at other than being paranoid and taking guns everywhere and caring about people? Well, um, that's literally it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that's it. That's that your prep. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's your prep. A gun. Yeah, Slim, a bunch of guns. Salim brought several guns that he can carry on himself because, again, he does refuse to wear a shirt, but he does have a really cool jacket. I, for, I just decided arbitrarily that he'll he'll have brought his jacket with him, his his cool jacket, his cool leather jacket. It's a vest because you got to get those guns out. Oh, yeah. Sure, he tore the <laughs> sleeves off the jacket, but it's still, you know, it's a cool leather jacket that has the sleeves torn off. Um... So yeah, he brought several guns, and you know, in he's probably got like those like strap holsters on his bare chest that he refuses to wear a shirt over, and he's got several <laughs> guns on that. He's brought some flashlights. Um, he's not super like equipped with like flashbangs or whatever because he's not really contacted with the military anymore, and his brothers in the mosque don't like how militant he is, so he doesn't like to upset them because um, they think he, they start to tease him and call him a fed. So, you know, he just has his guns and flashlights. Probably the phrase tactical has been used around yeah. him before. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's he's just got guns and and um, and bullets and flashlights, and that's about yeah. the best he's brought. Roll, roll some dice. Yeah, he's, he's not bad. Oh, okay, so that's, uh, you got two prep. Yeah, I've got two prep. I wish he was the kind of guy who could come in like with all sorts of ridiculous bullshit, but he's not. It sucks. Alright. Okay. So is everybody in is everybody in purple? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Mm -hmm. The last question before I get you to do the last question I have before I get you to do something a little unorthodox is are you guys going to, like, spend any effort trying to be quiet and stealthy about this? Or are you just, like, barreling through the halls? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm, I am an abject coward. <laughs> okay. Um, so probably yeah. some degree of stealth. You try not to make a lot of noise? Yes. All right. Okay. This is a little unorthodox, but I promise you I'm going somewhere. I am posting in the chat a link to a thing that lets you pick a random card from a set of 52 playing cards. Oh, God. I need you to tell me. I need you to put the pick, click the draw cards and tell me what you get. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I, I better open this in gloves. a new tab. Yeah, go ahead and, go ahead and actually write it down in the, in the chat. Right, so I can you said, see it. How do I okay. pick a random card? Hold on. How to do this? There's a button that says pick random card. Yeah, draw a card at the bottom. Okay, just grab, draw, just click draw a card at the bottom. Got it. Okay, I got the queen of, uh, is that the spades? <laughs> Does it look like an upside down heart? Yeah. Or, yes, spades. It's okay, go ahead and write that in the chat. Okay. Go ahead and write that in the chat for me. The ace of clubs, that doesn't work. <laughs> the ace of clubs. <laughs> the ace of spades. <laughs> Ooh, That's the one okay. that has a logo for the card company on usually. Ooh, okay. There you go. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I don't cards. like any of that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, I apologize for my order on orthodoxness, but I did not have time to make maps. I'm going to actually go with um, Jeff and Fefter first. As you are going along, um, you encounter a, a about like after you've been walking for about ten, a good solid 10 15 minutes you do run into um a area that has like you see like you see the sign first the sign says um restricted area maintenance staff approved like um approved maintenance staff only this area is secured by um Laser defense systems. Station management is not liable for for any injuries cost. What's the OSHA like sign? That's the picture. What does it look like? It looks like a it looks like a sick man that has been bisected by a very mean looking red laser. Oh no! And his hands are like ah oh, there. 
Um, and you know why this is? Because around the corner, you almost run smack dab into a like entire like field of these big old red lasers. There is only one way through this area, area, and you'd have to backtrack a really long time, and you would not have the you would lose the uh, lights because okay. you only have sort of one path that's been picked out for you. I have a plan. All right. I mean, always there's always a button to turn these things off on the other side. That's like how it works. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna I'm gonna reach into my bag of goodies, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna pull out a a um. A USB drone, like like with a like USB dongle, and I plug it into the computer, uh-huh. and I say, "Okay, uh, pal, this is this is all on you. You gotta fly that over there and turn on these lasers off, so I don't get cut in a million pieces. Because I have meat, and I need to keep that meat in one piece. Would it not be a better idea to signal to whoever's in charge of the security and ask them permission to turn off the lasers? I don't think we have that option. I'm in charge of security, and I give you permission to turn off the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. I'm 98% positive that it's not true. I'm absolutely, I, I'm, I'm completely sincere. However, you were also told to, told to help us. Yeah. Right. Indeed. I am in charge of security here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I still right, doubt that. <laughs> the well, doubt okay, meme. So. You pull up okay. the doubt meme you in can, a web browser. Can, <laughs> I, I'm going to teach you a thing about called self-determination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's, oh, let's see. see. Uh, what action would this be? I'm seeing which one would probably work the best here. Um, I'm thinking the op- hacking operation because you're operating actual physical shit, right? Yes, it's that's probably good. I that, think is my good stat. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost like, like it's to almost it's as if I was listening drones. earlier and I planned that. Yeah, it's specifically <laughs> since drones. Okay, um, so that's going to be two d six plus clever. Um, plus any skill you have with drones. All right. Uh, so let's see. Two D six clever. Uh, I've got a uh, two in. Uh, I don't have specifically for drones, but I do have a plus one to operate for, as a specialty. Nice. Yeah, that'll work. So plus three overall. So two D six plus three. Nice. Thirteen. Um, okay, like, the the network level for this, because it's, like, literally your drone and a USB is probably pretty low, so... Yeah. I can just yeah, get right in. I was gonna say, like, level, like, three, so that's fine. It's okay, so you're... It's all the drivers. So you're able to get through. On the other side, um, you do actually see, like, you, there's kind of nothing, it's just a long tunnel, like, a long corridor. You turn the corner, you do actually see, in the next hallway, a window on one side... Mm-hmm. And um, if you were to examine that window, it looks like this used to be a um, a little checkpoint slash potentially like um, sort of a place to station um, maintenance personnel. Mm-hmm. Used to be though. Yeah, Expanded. there is a yeah. No one's been here in a while. Um, at least, probably at least not for like a week or so. Um, this is probably a place they use more when they're in the middle of a big old like rehaul of the system. There is a door panel that you could probably get in here with. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because I don't I don't just see a big lab- button label no, off there, around. There is nothing like that. All right, so this is gonna be a little more complex than we were hoping, but I'll go through with it. And let's looking at the hacking options again because there'll be another hacking thing here. Yeah, um, Joan has it's it's a fucking. Uh, watch dogs, Joe, and come on. It's got the <laughs> USB plug. Plug it in. <laughs> so, this is a pretty simple keypad. You could try brute forcing it. Um, you could try actually, like, sort of like figuring out how to get the, um, like the actual panel off and poke at wires. Whichever way you want to go. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, that sounds like it would be more of a tough roll, so I'm going to avoid that. I'm probably going to do... Uh, most of these are clever rolls. <laughs> yeah, they're all they're all clever rolls. The brute force one, well, if you try to brute force this by just pounding in numbers, it's going to be a bullshit roll. Yeah. <laughs> a bullshit uh, action. And it would 
technically risky. Hmm. Yeah, it's not something I'd normally do, so... I, hmm, I actually kind of like charm, even though that doesn't, like, change anything, really. Okay, so you're going to try to actually sort of, like, interfacing with the system and convincing you you have the security. Um, Just tell them the, kind of, the head of security is right here. I mean, come on. Yeah, basically, you're kind of convincing them that you do, in fact, have the have clearance. Okay, I, I'm down with that. Um, yes. Network level is a... So you need a nine or higher. Ooh, that's going to okay. be tough because I'm only getting the plus two to this roll. And that's an oh, eight. No. You, got, you have prep. You have prep. Okay, it does. Oh, you do have prep. I've got two preps, so hopefully I don't need to do anything after this. Um, I'll spend one of mine because it's my drone. So you have to spend one. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to say that's enough. Um, to get into the door, the door slot open. You can get in. There is, in fact, this is this place was used as a security checkpoint to keep people out of work zones, and there is, in fact, a panel here that does actually directly control the lasers. All right, so I'm going to deactivate that. I'll signal back to everybody. Good news. It seems as though people have been missing from this security system for at least 15 minutes, which means it's fair game to turn off the lasers. Is there any kind of spot check in this game? Not really. Sure you just gotta that. get to te decide what we see and what uh. we don't see. Okay. While you, while this drone has, like, while you pilot it to sort of like basically push the button and are returning to the group, you notice in the corner that there is a old HEV suit that looks like it's caked in something you can't really tell um, and is surrounded by half opened and rifled through boxes containing assorted like electronics parts and one of them has like li literally is just filled with um, like case like it's, it's just a case of beer basically with nice. somebody like hid in one of these things Gross. Okay. Uh, they're just kind of so whoever was going through them was not interested in that. They just sort of like threw it around. Um, but whoever was going through this like was looking for something very specific, and it, they made a mess of this room. Mm. All right. Next is going to be. Let's go both Fefner and Jeff because I was thinking it could be either of you. Um, uh, I'm going to say Loka's next. Cool. Oh boy. Another five minutes down the way, you've it's if it were a straight line, you could have done this in twenty, but it is leading you like on this ridiculous like maze like journey. Yeah, just a circuitous um, path, yeah. Oh god. Time to find the Minotaur. Mm hmm Along the way, you do find um, you remember from when you were working down here that um, you remember that there are some security checkpoints. You also remember that there are a couple of places where the actual integrity of the tunnels themselves was not great. Um, and you were surprised they didn't have you working on that, but you got the impression <laughs> that they were only doing what was strictly necessary and they were cutting every corner they could. Um, and mm -hmm. you do, in fact, run and cross one of those places that you remember and you remember it because it is a massive hole. <laughs> like, right, it is sort well, of a gap, about here is three the or four feet. Wait, what? No? <laughs> I said, here is the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Too many toasters. Um, this is there how is... you can tell I'm the construction expert. None of you realize how big of an issue this is. <laughs> well, um, it was not this bad before. You had the feeling that something has happened in the meantime because when you were here, it was more just like, like you know, there was obviously this the the plates had been joined very badly and in a rush. Um, so I like that better. New. Like before we turn the corner, I'm like, hold on, I remember this. I want to show you some really shoddy workmanship. You know, most people wouldn't notice it, and then there's just this giant hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your yeah, problem. Yeah, seems like looks like a hole. Looks pretty bad. It doesn't lead out. Really space, subtle does it? issue. Um, That'll buff right out. All leads down into like the real innards, like straight up, just um, 
It's exposed. It's exposed wire. So this is like a fucking room in the Death Star. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but there's no catwalk of no railings. No. Because there are no railings in Star Wars. Yeah, there, it's just long enough that you think if you were athletic, you could do a running jump. But it's it, it's it's like about a yard, a little over a yard. It's also higher gravity you're, down here. Yeah, it's also higher gravity down here. It's not quite two Gs or anything, but it's it's noticeable. Oh, I feel so heavy. Mm. It's all those hot pockets cool. So we're going we're going through the hole now, right? The lights lead you beyond the hole. Great. So it seems to indicate so that you need get to the cross it. Across. Yeah. Okay. One way well, or another. I still have my one plank, but I don't know if that'll be long enough to reach. <laughs> you just throw into the hole. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> Doing me a repair. Well, we're, we're trying to get over an area, right? I thought maybe I could have a makeshift bridge. Okay, so you, you actually um, want to try putting it over? Is it long enough? Because that's something that I don't know as a player. I'm sure you, is... have a tape, you have a tape measure on you, you're a construction guy, right? I, yeah, I pull out the tape measure, and because gravity is lower, it just drags the end into the <laughs> abyss. <laughs> gravity is higher, plank, excuse me. The plank is just barely long enough. Okay. Uh, you gotta get it like, inside, dude. You have, like, you have about, like, two or three inches on either side, but as long as you can keep it steady, you know, it'll be fine. Okay, so I can nail down this end. The problem is that I can't nail down the other end unless I'm there. Yes. So I'm going to put nails at this end, but everyone else has to hold the while I walk across it. Well, who's the lightest? I think the nerd is the lightest. <laughs> Let me lift these two up and it. test this. Hold on. So I'm going to pick up Cool Ranch and see how heavy he is. And I'm going to pick up Willy and see how heavy he is. And whoever's lighter is going across. And I think I might be the heaviest just because of the muscle. <laughs> While that is a good consideration also, I don't think I have the strength to nail a plank of wood into a piece of, of metal, uh, like, tunnel. Oh, yeah. This is metal. I'm sure you do, because you're very strong. <laughs> okay, I can... Um, but this is your challenge, Loka, so... I, I, yeah, I can, so I gotta do something. Yeah. I can hold the the, um, the, the, the board on the side well, after you nail it in, just to make oh, sure it doesn't you, wiggle You know out. what else you'd have? Clamps. Yeah. That makes more sense. You probably could clamp or secure this side, but you're right, you would need to be on the other side to secure it. So All right, I'm, yeah, I'm I, just trying to find the right roll to make. Yeah. I am also looking for the right roll here. I would um, just say it'd be keeping your cool mm -hmm. if you want to use that. Yeah, actually, honestly, unless we can find one really that's better than that. No, that's not, that's, uh, looks fine. Yeah, that one works. Let me just double check something. Yeah, let's see. Is there a formal network. Where do you see that? Trust the, the stat is cool. Yeah. But so just no. make a plus cool roll? Yeah, I think it's just plus cool. Justify a specialty if you can, I guess. And All I'll right. do it. Um... I'm upset because I, pick, I put power tools and not tools. <laughs> I'm going to... And clamps Lol. aren't power tools. I would imagine uh, all uh, tools are power tools in the Grimdark future. I mean, I feel like, yeah, honestly, that makes yes. Sense. The Grimdark is in the future, there are always power tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so plus two to cool, and then plus one from power tools. Oh, wow! There we go. Dang. I was That's gonna say great. that. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I feel like the difficulty would be around seven here, but damn. Okay. I just put... So, I keep my cool so well, what happens is I put the clamps out and I say, hey, somebody hold on to this plank, and then I start walking before giving anyone a chance to grab a hold of it. <laughs> I do not slow down at all. 
I am just walking at a normal pace. I'm in the zone. Yeah, so you're able to get across easily, like just easily secure this thing and get everyone to the other side pretty quickly, actually. Mm. That worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Br bridge is made. Good thing I keep I instinctively carry planks with me wherever I go. <laughs> Also good that you didn't fall in because I don't have any more bad. Bad. so now I feel naked. <laughs> Alice, you solved your fiendish pit puzzle. You solved my riddles. Okay, we'll shimmy across the pit and continue on our way. Wait, from what I understand, the biggest obstacles to any tabletop party are like locked doors and pits. <laughs> and cloakers. Don't locked forget cloakers. <laughs> Pits or so let me tell you though, rivers. Oh god! Yeah, river. You guys in rivers? Yeah. <laughs> rivers are functionally the same as pits. Okay, so I have some bad news. Oh no! When I was figuring this out, um, when I was d figuring out how I was going to do this without maps, I decided to use the cards. Mm -hmm. And because I was like, okay, I, I, on a whim, I decided that I would use the the. Um, I would I would make it work the way that uh, spades worked. Okay. And you picked the queen of spades. I don't know what I've never played spades, so I don't know if this is good or bad. How stealthy have you been? Ah, uh, I mean, I rolled. managed to listen. I managed, managed to roll. I managed to listen to the door that one time, but yeah, he's been you know chatty. He's been talk talking a little bit of shit. I'm gonna need you to. Hey, look. Um, I'm gonna need you to make a roll for me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. What would be best here, or worse, I should say. It seems like you want me to make a stealth roll or something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, just make it straight up, just straight up stealth roll. Okay, and that's. Uh, I believe that's plus clever. Plus clever or quick. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go with plus clever because I'm better at being the... clever. Security level, quote unquote, security level here is a six. Oh dear. Okay, is there anything I can add to this that will make my roll that I can add to my roll? Let me see here. Um, hmm. Will my military specialty give me anything? Oh, I have knowledge of obscure places uh, on Grand Cross at plus two. This is an obscure place, right? Yeah, I'll, okay, I'll so, accept that. So I'll take this at plus four. Oh, thank goodness. Great. Oh, you ba barely beat it. Yeah. It was 11. Yeah. It was 11. <laughs> okay. So when this happens, you are not in the open and you have the presence of mind to not be seen. And by this, I mean um, you're on a long stretch of corridor that is stretched like, so, like really, really long. And ahead of you, there seems to be sort of a crossroads. Mm -hmm. You know this because out of nowhere, two. Um, two figures in, in hazmat suits, like, barrel through, uh, with lots of noise and lots of, like, chaos behind them, pursued by a third figure in a black coat and, um, and with, ar with armor not dissimilar from the man who took over the town hall meeting. Ah, oh, shit, okay. He has not, not seen you. He has not noticed you, and neither has the hazmat people. What seems to have fallen in the middle of the of the hallway, and he, the um, accelerationist, um, has actually got him like in his sights, like sort of right next to him. His companion has run ahead. So let me make sure I got this clear before I, I act. Um, we got two accelerationists chasing two civil civilians, basically. You have one accelerationist. Who has been chasing these two, whatever, whoever these people are in hazmat suits? He, one of them is one of them falls, and he is and when he's trying to get back up. The accelerationist puts the uh, wrist gun to his head, basically. Ah. So there's. Do you want me to read the actual rule for for stealth here? Yeah. Yeah. So when you roll stealth, one person rolls, which Jaren did, and she got it. Um, you basically every time you do anything that's risky, like anything that takes a roll, you. Um, you roll. Any failure, you you lose one of your chances, and you have three. If you lose all three, 
you are spotted. Ah. Or I guess if you get spotted on purpose. Okay. But, yeah. And then there's stuff we can do to like lower the sheer level and to like regain those chances. So at the moment you were you were you were full cover. Neither of them seen you. You were in the shadows. You managed to pull whoever's ever from behind you into the shadows, and it's very obvious that you shouldn't be seen. Um, ahead of you, the accelerationist has not fired or anything. Um, he is yelling at this person to tell him where the fuck they're where the where the fuck they where the fuck he took it, and that's a where the fuck did you take it? Okay. I know, I know that you I know that you weird degenerate shits stole it. I know you would. There's no one else down here. Tell me where it is, and I I'll shoot you I'll shoot you straight in the head. Otherwise, I'm starting at the feet. Oh gosh. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna do something. Okay, go ahead. Because I was just gonna shoot him, but go ahead. Uh, I am going to plug into the nearby um, data lines and try to make a distant speaker make noise to distract him. That's going to be disabled security. So that's a risky action. Yeah, so it's going to be 2d6 it, plus clever. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, 2d6 plus clever. All right. Security level Security level is still is going to still be six. Why did I go start typing the roll thing into Discord? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Okay, I'll add my hacking ability. Mm -hmm. I'd help, but there's no rules for helping in this game. <laughs> yeah, no rules for helping in this game. Another thing plus. I'd like to... Have yes, that should also be in there. Yeah, because I actually because I wanted because oh, I wanted you guys to be able that. to do that. That'll work. Yeah, I beat it by one. Nice. Okay, so you were able to access it. What do you want to make? Do so I I want I I want to make like distant noises to distract this guy from shooting this person. I don't want this. I don't want to see someone get get eight get uh murked in front of me. That would suck. Okay, he whirls around towards the source of the noise and actually just straight up just like lets off a couple of rounds and starts. Oh, yelling, great! Like, well, he's shooting and covers the sound of me shooting him. <laughs> okay. While he's yelling, <laughs> what the, who, who the fuck is that? Um, we are in close quarters. So if anyone does try to melee you while you are down here, you will be at a disadvantage. Let's see how this works. I, I've um, got a 2d6 plus 5 because I have my rifle and I have my military background and it stacks. Okay, so are you trying to pin him down, or are you just are you going straight for it? Uh, um, I'm a I'm a sergeant first class. I'm shooting him in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna try to go for you're just gonna try to straight up just like take him down before he can turn around. Yep. <laughs> okay, so two d six plus quick or tough versus quick or tough. Yep. Defense. So, so level plus five was I think. Yep. His that level is going to be a force, so you need a nine. Damn. Yeah, 15, yeah, 15 beats that. <laughs> and that is actually going to use those damage rules because that's a gun. Um, <laughs> he starts right, shooting, so... and I'm like, "Great, that'll cover the sound of me shooting." And that's exactly what <laughs> Salim says. By the way, is that'll cover <laughs> me shooting? Bang. <laughs> Okay, so you catch him in the center. Of, you catch him in the center of mass, mm -hmm. and he, he falls forward. The hazmat guy like lets out a bizarre, almost inhuman screech, and, and just bolt. So, <laughs> well, Jenner, uh, with the attack rolls, you so you attack and you also make one of those actions. Mm -hmm. Where is the okay? What, okay, so what, they're not different ones. Yeah, what? Okay, what so you, 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 you do two things. Pin down. Twenty-four. Page twenty-four. Okay, let me look really quick. On the right side, twenty-four under attack actions. Okay, under attack rolls. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when an attack action to attack actions, uh, I uh, did not. I, don't, I guess. Ah. Uh, um. You can you take cover, distract, pin down, and rush. All work here. Uh, hunker down. <laughs> No. No. Flush out does work here as well. Yeah, flush out is what I'm thinking. Uh, it's technically like distract or flush out. I I'm going with. I think pin down is your best one here. Yeah. That one lets you hit him again if he does anything but like. Okay. Yeah. Right I'll. Part. I'll. Yeah. After I shoot him, I'll yell, "Stay down!" Because he's gonna drop. He got hit right in the body. <laughs> yeah. So he. So it. It. He doesn't actually go down. He. Um. You hit his armor. Mm-hmm. 
um, because they are, uh, again, armored everywhere. I mean, I would These guys are that straight up. Slim yeah. probably does have armor piercing rounds, but it's fine. <laughs> This is yeah no he probably does this is like some bill like shit um he does however like hit the wall hard and starts it kind of slides you could completely just baffle the, the, the whole air out of him he's not doing great right now mm -hmm. um let's see because we're doing we're kind of doing the sort of like everybody going at the same time thing would you guys do other attacks or. Would he go next? Well, I did my thing, so... Mm. You okay? Um, I feel like I'd actually attempt to interrogate, because clearly we... <laughs> gunshots have gone out, so I'm going to ask him what his deal is. So, uh, interrogate is 2d6 plus clever versus cool, single targets, and... I feel like this might be at a disadvantage, actually. Mm. So I'm trying to look at how that disadvantage works. He has just quick. been shot. He might not be yeah. the most <laughs> talk to people. We roll disadvantage. Right or disadvantage. You roll, roll additional no, no, actually a, mm, a hostile target will not cooperate unless threatened. And well, he really is threatening. So yeah. <laughs> well, he has been threatened by gun. So yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that he's pretty threatened yeah. right now. But it's it disadvantage. Roll an additional d6. Discard the highest. Die before adding them together. Three d six. Yeah, because he's already hostile. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So uh, let's. That's two d six plus clever. Uh, and I'm thinking that's only two, right? Yeah, clever's two. I don't really have anything to help this out. Uh, well, we have knocked down just quite a little bit by you know hurting two. him. And Mm -hmm. so let's see. Uh, the highest is four, so three, five, seven. All right. Let me look. Is that is that a um, that's interrogate? You're cool. Okay. So he actually has a disadvantage on everything right now, and that's actually something that they're not very good at. So actually, just basically negates his actual bonus. Well, yeah, I think what it is, is I think you decide as the GM as they take damage and shit. They just they level goes down because they're yeah. less of a threat. Yeah, because like the, the 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 harm thing says minus one to all rolls. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, but that's for players. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean it's basically the same effect though. Yeah, that okay, that's gonna be enough there. It looks like. All right. Well, so it's, yeah, it's pal shouts. Enough. Accelerationist, what is your goal here? Um, after a string of expletives, um, <laughs> he yells... Oh, how do I phrase this? Uh, I'm so bad at doing voices for people. <laughs> um, look, those little worms stole something. They were, they, they've been through all of our shit. Like, who the hell are you? I don't know what they took. They took something I was going to ask them before you... I'm the head of security shot here. He is not. <laughs> are you the head of security? Who are you? I have been designated pal of operating group 3678. Oh, Christ. It's a, You're one of those, like, fucking uh, Apple Store bar AIs, aren't you? How the hell are you here? I'm in a computer, which is a laptop, which can be taken from a single power source. <laughs> the question is, why has the acceleration just isolated a section of town? We didn't do it. Eh? Oh, that's right. We're, we're uh, just, yeah, took uh, it, we're just taking advantage, that. man. Like, look. For you what know, reason would you with the take advantage iron's of the situation? Hot, you gotta hit it or whatever the, whatever it goes. I don't know. Wouldn't it be in your best interest to keep all technology connected? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, it, hey, it, hey it, pal. Can we not have an ideological dis like discussion? Can you not shoot me? <laughs> um, can you not threaten to shoot someone else? I mean, they're not even human anymore. It doesn't matter. What? Boom! I just pop him like with the butt of the gun. <laughs> this not humans like slam. <laughs> Christ, do you not even know it? Like no. he like hints, he, he's like really mad. Like, do you not know what these things are? 
things and bam, hit him again. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Jesus. I know. They're stalkers. But I want to make sure that you know, so you tell me. <laughs> They're stalkers, okay? I don't know what. I, I generally do not know what stalkers are, um, but Salim does. Can, can you explain to me what a stalker Me, Jenner, not. Not Slim. So okay. They're, they're, like chud. they're like chuds. They're, they're has cool. Yeah. Selim we already has, talked about this, I think. Yeah. They're they're. It's another term for the same thing. The they're depending on who you believe, they are. The oh, these are the, the crocodiles. Version. The yeah. alligators in the sewer. Yeah. Depending on who you believe, they a lot of them are so crazy for being down here, and also a lot of the drugs and or fumes, experimental like stuff that they've imbibed over the years that they have just do not have higher co fo cognitive functions anymore, supposedly. Um, a lot of them are actually, like, the only times anyone's ever performed seeing them, they're always in hazmat suits, and they will not take them off no matter what. So, no one really knows anything about them. Uh, you know, I'm I'm cool with this characterization of, of Sleem just, like, putting his foot, like, mm -hmm. on this guy's chest... And, like, doing that sexy thing where you put your gun underneath their chin and you lift their chin up, you know, and looking down into his <laughs> eyes and being like, they're people, still. Okay, they're people, they're people, but they're people that stole from me, and look, look, I wasn't even gonna shoot him, man, I needed him to tell me where it was, okay? I just wanted to spook him. Whether what or not you believe him, for? that's just it. I don't know. Okay, look, we've look, we've got we've got a stash down here. It's down that way. He points behind him. About five minutes, we've got a stash, bunches of stuff. Uh, I came down here to check on everything because we do that every day. And two of them were rooting through the boxes, and they had something when they ran off. I don't know what it was, so I just ran after them. Yeah, it could be anything. For all I know, one of them's grabbed a hold of a detonator, or a thermal, or some kind of thermal grenade, or they could have something harmless, like you know, like one of the spare night vision augs. Like uh, it could be anything. It's probably not the best time for this. Cool. Uh, I mean, yeah, this doesn't actually affect us that much. We can kind of ignore this and just keep doing. We were going to. The, um, you say you have a stash here, and you check it once a day, and you're the person to check it. So right now, no one's going to check it until tomorrow. Yeah. Hey guys, free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Look, just just let me go. I'll 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 leave you alone if you let me go. I, I can't shoot mm, him anyway. If we let him go, we might go back and get people. Especially now that I've said we're going to steal his shit. <laughs> Um, it might be worth noting that if you are feeling um, merciful, they're chromed up but not on their head. If you just want to like knock this dude out, yeah, I think that would be for the best. Uh, I, in like, how every, can you every... like put him? How can you put him behind like a powered door that will open as soon as we get the power back on or something? Um. A little along the way, there are a couple like what back towards the way he came from. It looks like there's a, an actual storage facility there, and um, there are a couple of like supply closets that you can stuff him in. All right, you probably got a crowbar. Yeah, I mean, the, when the power comes back, he'll be fine. Or even alternatively, yeah. he probably can just hack his way out. All right, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you roll anything. That's pretty. See, you should probably just do that. Um, okay, so you've incapacitated the suit. There is a stash if you want to. If you want to see if you can rifle through it real quick on your way. Yeah, uh, we might. I'm just gonna say in character, we might need whatever it is the 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 duct people ran off with. But we'll we'll cross that bridge if we get to it, and we'll go rifle through this. Mm -hmm. My conclusion is that the accelerationists have no idea how to actually cope with this situation. I'm unsure of what supplies could they have.
that could possibly be useful, considering their incompetence. He, he rattled off a few things when you were asking about it, um, and everything he rattled off was, like, military hardware. Apparently they... Do they have more wooden planks? <laughs> he did not mention it, if they do. They might have metal planks. If there's, um, if there's he, military stuff, I can go through it and see if there's anything that's useful. Yeah. Um, other than the that... Most important, yeah. The most important he, thing at he the did, moment is time. He did... He did mention that um, he did mention that they had a noise canceling that there was at least one noise canceling unit, and he was worried that that's what the do, the stalkers had taken. Okay. Well, uh, uh, something we, it's a it's a still thing. I mean, let's we know where it is, right? And yeah, he's not you know where it leaving. Is. He's not leaving until the morning. So at least. So let's hit it on our way out, and get do the mission first. Agreed. It is imperative we set up the beacon as soon as possible, so that they don't get to do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So y'all, y'all cool with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So continuing um, down the, you, you, so you continue on down. Not long after this, actually, you hit a big like you come out of a um, corridor into. That leads into a bridge over a large gap. On the wall, there is a sign before you hit that bridge that says, uh, um, now District 347, um, entering District 346. Mm hmm. Districts are numbered. Pete, nobody remembers the district numbers, no one uses them. Um, it looks like this is the actual way, and you do not see anyone guarding it, thankfully. The lights lead you across. We did it, we did it. Okay. Yeah. If no Ooh. other danger is present, you may set up the beacon. Um, I, as soon I, as you, as beacon. soon as you, yeah, as soon as you, <laughs> like, down. <laughs> as soon <laughs> as you. you cross this bridge... Everything, anything electronic you have on you that can be connected to any kind of like internet kind of system immediately starts like going nuts. I I get so many notifications. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Twitter is on space. Twitter is on fire right now. I get I get a day and a half worth of notifications from my very popular meme page. Do Twitter you now. do any of you check your note? Like you, you check you, you check like your social media, do you check any kind of, like, notifications, news notifications, or emails? No, of course not. I check okay. my I social media page. I check the news. <laughs> I mean, okay. I just get a direct feed all the time, so, you know. On the news, there is a current story developing about how um, out of the Legion fields today, um, a terrorist plot that a group of L4 refugees for the L4 disaster Calling themselves um, the sur calling themselves the survivalists have taken over the entirety of Elysian fields. Uh, they have threatened to if their demands are not met. They have threatened to start discon. They have said to jettisoning um, portions of the colony towards Earth using the emergency systems, making every single district and neighborhood of the station into ammunition for a great gravity-powered gun. Wow. Okay, this is monstrous. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna drop a colony on Earth! This is monstrous, but <laughs> also fucking cool as hell. So Sleem, in character, allowed? <laughs> <laughs> the footage they show you is of the mayor of Elysian Fields um, at a meeting that looks suspiciously like the one you were at. In fact, it looks exactly like the one you were at, but instead of just talking like rambling to kind of like buy time before he tells you he doesn't know what's going on, the audio very clearly has him like giving a fiery speech about how obviously um, the station management, station government doesn't care about them and like how every single problem they've ever had is obviously the fault of the station the station government which is too beholden to the old governments on earth and they have to you know they have to figure out some kind of way to make them listen kind of like it, he comes across as unhinged 
Um, and to do that, they're going to they're going to drop uh, districts from the station, like escape pods, down to earth, make the meteors. Okay. None of that is stuff that he said. I, I have a plan. <laughs> well, I, I don't a, know that. I have a plan. All right, let's hear your plan, Cool Ranch. Okay. I, I, I get out my own laptop that I mm -hmm. had, which is much better than the AI's one, because I have all the tech. Because I, that's how I do my life. Salim I looks pissed, my... by the way, because Salim is done being other people's weapon. <laughs> so he's not so, happy. <laughs> so what I do is is I I um I, I get that video and I repost it to my to my account saying it this is obviously dubbed over. I need someone who can like look into that stuff. Like <laughs> I'm I'm crowdsourcing the, the debunking of this video using my, my amazing amounts of clout. You actually get a response really quickly, and it's from someone you, whose name, you, who's, like, you've seen them before, like your mentions, but, like, you don't really know them or anything, who tells you, hey, man, you might not want to say that. Like, the last per like, some people tried to point that out earlier and get, like, a, a hashtag going, and they're all banned. Okay, you like, know what? Like, not just shadow banned, like, their account was erased. You cannot search their account. Yeah, well, they weren't me. I'm making a roll. <laughs> All right. What are you rolling? Um, I, I am I am using all of my 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 skills of the social media and hacking to get this out there, bypassing all the normal channels so it, they cannot suppress it. All right, and that would be social engineering. Oh uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, this is a risky action. <laughs> okay, so plus clever, plus my social media, plus my science investigating clickbait, which is what I'm using to make it work. The Plus, network level is the network level is inexplicably for reasons um, eight. Okay, let's see. If this is how you get banned. <laughs> get it's it. it's free speech. Got got no. <laughs> this is this is exactly what my character designed to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somehow yeah, somehow you managed to elude banning. They cannot stop. They cannot stop this cool ranch. <laughs> oh God! You get a you lot. Of, tell you everyone get a except lot of the mods. The the post goes viral very quickly because everyone is eating this shit up. Um, you get a lot of pushback. Some people accuse you of being a bot, and some people accuse you of definitely, obviously being sort of some kind of long con, like like you're there. Somebody's paying you to say this. A lot of people actually like start looking at the footage again and, and wonder if you're right. Oh, I am responding to everyone. So like I'm saying, I am, I am, I would not take this slant in my purse. I'm cool ranch. A couple of people <laughs> do actually DM you and tell you that they've that they like they have the skills to sort of like examine footage like that, and they that they, you're right. It has actually been overdubbed, but it's been uh, overdubbed really well. Like whoever did this was a professional. It's like the the, the deep fakes. Yeah, it's. There's really, least, really hardcore deep fake. There is at least one person who is trying to say this is proof that Metal Gear Solid Five is going to update again. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody out there who's really, really pumped about the possibility that this is like the greatest ARG of all time. Finally, Silent Hills. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> they moved into space. The genius. Um, a new mess. Team, you've done it again. Come. This is definitely Mass Effect 5. Um, <laughs> okay, I've but, done the one thing I'm good at, so I, I'm <laughs> tapped out for the sudden. You do manage to not get caught, and you do it does spread really quickly and widely. Um, the news has actually continued. Um, it turns out that the corporate the the corporate accords um, kind of representatives on the station, um, led by the branch manager of the station branch manager of black sun and company oh, Lord. have all kind of pledged their support not only for the station government but also to the state people of the station itself pledging that they will act swiftly to regain control of the district and to do their best to keep everyone safe um as long as as well as a counter press release by the station government, which is kind of in flux, saying that um, they are still investigating whether it, what is actually happening and revising 
that no one actually tried to do anything about it. Specifically, the megacorps who are currently saying that they're definitely going to do something about it. Uh, in this time of 24-hour news, they're now reporting on Twitter because that's what they do. They just read in tweets. <laughs> they're um, towards the end of the broadcast that you're watching. As you're watching it, um, there is a mention that there is a that people are speculating on whether or not um, the incident in question is fake. Is it my tweet? Does it say at Coran? Yes. Oh, it is yes. Yours? Oh, so much clout. With- <laughs> <laughs> they have. They have blacked out your name. Ah! <laughs> the avatar is there, and everyone knows. Yes, the avatar is there. Then it's just a picture of Kuras Rita's bag. <laughs> <laughs> Inexplicably. And no, no. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough. My patient's gonna, gonna go nuts. <laughs> um, so, as soon as you set up the actual laptop with the beacon, you get another call from Aeskulis. Ow. Oh. I'll check it. Well, I'm glad you made it one piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you didn't get, you know, shot by any laser turrets or or, or had your face eaten off by uh, Saugers. Um, Yeah, so I've actually, I actually got connection as soon as you hit the bridge and I've been already contacting some people I know and, um, oh, geez. Um, I don't know how to say this. Um, how attached are you to uh, your neighborhood? Very. Extremely. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Yes. Yes. Wait, Ooh. do you mean like emotionally or physically? I mean, kind of both. Do you, do you mean like physically attached to the station? I mean, you won't be if you go back, if, if you, if you, if you, if nothing changes pretty soon. I think I faint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to solve this in two minutes. Yeah, we gotta solve this so, in two minutes. Speak plainly, buddy. <laughs> I think that I, I think that I can avert this, but I'm going to need to ask for a terrible sacrifice. I swear I didn't do this on purpose. Is Cool Ranch there? Yeah, Cool Ranch is fainted, though. What is it? You need to wake him up, because I have to sacrifice his, his Twitter clout. No! <laughs> he'll never do it! Uh, I'll, I'll, I probably have some stuff. You know, I'm unco- my computer's still the logged yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, All right, how are we, do- do how are we doing there. this? I'll, I'll sit down okay. in front of his computer. I am attaching a file to a message, a text message, that will come through this in a second. Mm-hmm. When you get it, you need to download that file, and you need to upload it somewhere. Um, some something that something where it's not directly just a upload to Twitter, and then put put a link to that file on Twitter. Okay, so I can do put that. Put it every yeah, single it? okay. Because put it Slim everywhere that cool about the internet. So he'll he'll yeah. <laughs> yeah, everywhere the cool red has an account, you need to put it everywhere. But Salim will this is a rights in all caps with an exclamation point um, and tweet it from, from Cool Ranch's account. I can pr- I have a, a, I have enough evidence to show that this is a move by Black Sun. But the only way for me to do this quickly before they escalate the situation and fake the and fake the um, Earthfall of Elysian Fields, which <laughs> the only way I can stop this is if I can mass upload enough places this file with every bit of that evidence. Uh, okay. So it goes... It They'll goes try to up. take it down. We just need to spam it. It goes on Twitter. It goes on SoundCloud. It goes on LinkedIn. We put it, it on, on Reddit. Facebook. It goes on Reddit. There's a torrent. Yeah. <laughs> Someone puts it on, like, all those, like, really shady file sharing sites with all the ads you gotta click through before you can download the file. Just all over the place. Yeah, we'll have a uh, we'll have a uh, pal uh, make the roll for this. I have no qualms doing this, as Cole Ranch seems to be guilty of illegal posting. Trans rights is, is not an illegal post. They make it. They that make a new topic. Post. They make a new topic on the Neopets forum. <laughs> Neo 
Let's get this back, baby. It's 2020. Uh, log in to Club Penguin and post a URL. <laughs> <laughs> Club Penguin too. Um, but in the chat function for Pop Tropica. Uh, that would be social engineering. Yeah, um, definitely. Clover, clever. Uh, you can have my tube prep, I guess, because okay, I I can't use it. I'm unconscious. Two eighty six. All right, two eighty six. Cool. Hey, cool is actually a good stat for me. So, um, let's this see. This is good tested. So. TD6 cool. 13. Oh wow, that's a big number. 13. Oh geez. Roll. Let's see how far you can get before they are, they delete 20. everything he has. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm, anything else I can use? Uh, add two for prep. Add one for prep. Uh, let's two for see. prep, I believe. Yeah. I got okay. Two. You can use them. Oh, can you use both? Yeah. Just take okay. all mine. give a shit. Plus two. Uh, this corn went down else? the entire East Coast. <laughs> uh, let's see. So uh, I don't think this counts as bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. This probably doesn't count as red spade. I think it's as good as I'm going to get. So here we go. Uh, Eight. Uh, God damn uh, Rip. I don't know if we can boost that number enough. You have All right. prep, right? What? You have prep you haven't used yet? I have two. <sighs> Shit. Okay, Hold so on. I have good news and bad Hold news. Hold on, you okay. can... Let me read this here. Uh, da, 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 da. Does it give me just a straight up reroll? <laughs> uh, no. It doesn't. Oof. Oof. Well, it was all for nothing. That's fine. Uh. So, as soon as you get it on most of the big sites, the accounts get deleted, With sometimes within, like, two minutes. As there was obviously someone out there who is definitely, like, as soon as they saw that broadcast, they were already on their way. It seems we attracted attention too early. Fortunately, you do manage to upload. You do manage to get a torrent going without it getting immediately killed. And that you just you can't kill it. So it is not entirely gone, but its ability of actual like average people to get a hold of it is severely reduced. And also, a lot of the people seeding it now like mess up the name. So, like, it looks like it's something that's definitely a virus. <laughs> well, I guess since the torrent's out there, at least, uh, I can download it to this computer, right? Yeah. Uh, what happened? I, I check my notifications, and there's none. <laughs> You'll have no notifications because you have been banned from everywhere. But the hashtag uh, free... Cool Ranch is trending already. Uh, I, I, I sadly hit the appeal ban button. <laughs> <laughs> the appeal ban button goes to a 404. Oh. <laughs> you weren't banned. You were. They didn't just ban you. They erased your account. The last thing I, you I tweeted was trans rights, by the way. I registered a new account, Cool Ranch 2. <laughs> <laughs> You live again. You Same. die. You. I, I, the, the only post is I live, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> before, it gets, before it gets banned. It, 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 it's like really, Cool Ranch really 2. You don't like... actually get that one. You have to do like Cool Ranch 528 because a whole lot of people register. No, so that, the that's, first that's six, box shit. The first 68 Cool Ranches have already been taken. Oh no, Cool Ranch 69! <laughs> <laughs> I live again! <laughs> Guess I'll have to start building back up. Well, what's this file? I, I run it. Because I'm a moron. The file is... So it's actually a it's actually a folder, and it has multiple files. Uh, the first one you click on is a video file with the representative, the branch manager for Black Sun talking to... Um, talking to the guy that you saw at the... Um, the Witcher Bacar, the town hall. Um, 
he's a little less unhinged than the last time you saw him. And she is explicitly telling him that, like, on, like, today, on this day, around 8, the power will, around 10, the power will go out, and he will have free reign for the next 24 hours. And then he has to make sure that he has the entire district secured. The only, the, the only way for them to help, um, the only way for them to get rid of a lot of the more, like, troublesome regulations on their ability to augment human humans is for them to show that the station government is worthless and the only all way right. to do that is so, to take away a whole booster from them so i upload all this to youtube but i i, I flip the video and put it like on a tv that a, like a chinese woman is, is eating a sandwich and watching like they do to like get around the, <laughs> the youtube algorithm to to uh like content id stuff Whoa, where'd the video go? <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> you have got it out there. Oh, they can't see it that way if it's like at an angle and backwards <laughs> and being watched on TV in the video. If you are looking at the news, there is a water, in, and there's a watermark that says Cool Ranch, and they cannot get rid of it because it's across the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not much after this, there is a breaking news report using your video with your watermarked Cool Ranch for sixty nine, <laughs> um, and your Twitter hashtag in there showing the exact like inter, the exact meeting between. Um, the branch manager for Black Suns and the leader of the the um, accelerationist inside, where she is explicitly telling him that they are gonna sh they are gonna shunt all power away from Legion Fields, I mean, Legion Heights, and then she is telling him, giving him free reign to do whatever he has to do, up to including like lots of violence. We did it. You have done it, probably. And it's midnight. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh yeah we gotta God. stop. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That yeah. was good. So that's that's basically it. Thank you so much. I'm trying to that find a fun. picture of that video where it's literally like <laughs> an eight, like a, on a TV is like a Chinese woman watching a movie in the video. Like it's a still frame and the movie's playing like an angle on it, so they can watch like. People need Top to run, but, but really quick, what did y'all think of Hardwired Island? So that's Good. Needs, needs some rule clarifications. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the rules are a bit messy, yeah, but... Yeah, it's like, is it match or exceed on yeah. the, the targets, and then, like, when there's a tie, who wins? Yeah, yeah. so, of course, yeah. that goes without saying, like, that'll be fixed up later on, I expect, but... Uh, Explain the mechanics sooner, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I do like the mechanics that are there. Uh, I like contested roles and also like dynamic, uh, like difficulties uh, yeah. that the game provides. Also, mm -hmm. you went quiet. I have to go so because I haven't seen it uh, before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm going to stop streaming then. Goodbye. There's Bye. no armor class, and that's great. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yay.